we're live everyone all right we're live uh this is this is the yeah, oh, nice nice jazz hands up oh, okay there's george now derek now you wave all right let's all do a wave all right so i'm gonna go there you go <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, but, yeah all right <laughs> the kind, uh, kind of gesture oh okay well hey we're back <laughs> well, uh uh this is the the kind i unofficially goons gone wild where we have the council of Dead Dondis, aka Rob, aka Tallest Man Alive, aka Silver Fox. Um, no, and, <laughs> and we have George, aka Snake Bites, aka Daddy Long Legs, or also yeah. Daddy Discord. I'm claiming that now. Daddy, <laughs> Daddy, Daddy Discord. Discord. Okay. Daddy Discord. And then there's me, uh, yeah, Head Goon, and then G Phone. You know, uh, for I, I don't remember. Wait, what's it? What, what's it? G Phone One Q Nine Five Seven One One Nine Five. That's too many numbers. Okay, we're here. Oh, we're gonna... kicks back up. Don't worry. Oh, well. <laughs> it's too oh, late. Well, it's too late. Oh wait, wait, wait! It's not too late. I can hit start. Yay! Okay, cool. Right. So, um, the council... kick people. Uh, can you not interrupt me? Sorry. Okay, good. Rob... Oh god, Rob's overheating. It's like something out of his mouth. Oh god. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Sometimes um... you need a moment. We're uh we're here today to discuss some retro yeah. gaming. We uh we yeah. <laughs> what was that? This is off to a great start. What I was see. That? Yeah. He's just like, yeah. You, yeah. you you were yelling at Derek for interrupting you, so I figured I'd just do it. So you so you interrupt me <laughs> too. Right? Yeah, that's exactly okay. what happened. Gotcha. All right. Um. Uh. Yeah. Apparently, these two sly foxes down here love their retro games. Uh. uh I. Actually, you know, here, here's my question for everyone. Um, what What is a retro game at this point? Like, for me, I almost consider it like PS1 era and below. But, I, I, I you know, like real, there's... Real, yeah, got to drop. Like, as it stands right now, if you give me a second, I'm going to have to, like, pull something up here. I forget where the exact cutoff is at this point, but I want to say, like... Uh, I want to see like the cutoff was like PS2 era now or that we're getting to that point. I was going to say, I think we're close to it being like 360 PS3 and Wii. Like that's almost retro at this point. Are we going by but the years? I guess if we're going by like the official nomenclature or whatever I'm supposed to say that or whatever, uh, it's word. widely accepted that anything before 1999 would really? be considered retro. Okay. Really? All so right. that would that would be PS1 era. Yeah, that would still count that. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah, I just cuz like uh, cuz I think some people just go by the amount of years it's been out right. versus like I, I I don't know. I could never see myself saying oh the PS2 games are retro because they seem fluid. They like if it made the PS1 to PS2 was such a huge jump from like pure polygons to like actual 3D models. Like really I think like 3D models without, you I'd know, say edges. earlier titles were still kind of working out the kinks on that, because I know fair. there was, like, a... Because around the time uh, my brother had gotten his PlayStation 2, like, some of the stuff, like, you could definitely tell there was a pretty sharp jump in graphics, but they were still kind of ironing out the kinks by then, because, I mean, you can tell, like, towards the end of PS2's life cycle, you could tell things were getting, like, much more, I guess, graphically efficient than they were, like, for, like, launch titles, like, Kengo, uh, Godai Elemental Force, uh, Gran Turismo 3, Force. I think, was a uh, bit of an outlier there, but still. Uh, yeah, Grand? basically, it was it was still a very sharp jump up, but they were still kind of figuring things out and what they could do with that console and its power. Gran Turismo was on the PS2? Yeah, uh, Gran Turismo 3 <coughs> and 4, I believe, were on that with this spinoff game, Tourist Trophy. Taurus tro <laughs> that one was just strictly motorcycles if i recall correctly oh i, I think so yeah i didn't know there's some motorcycle racing games i thought it was just like dirt no wait no what's the one with the dirt bikes motorcross well there was that uh and midnight that, club yeah, 3 was TV. also mm. i think it was like midnight yeah. club 3 or was that like it was either that or the dub edition um uh, also uh, added think, motorcycles in that yeah as well. i think i think just the straight up midnight club 3 had uh bikes but there's also like the mxgp games uh there there are like just straight up dirt rate like bike racing games um 
they're few and far between, but um, <laughs> like MotoGP and uh, Road Rash, but I mean, it's not a, a racing game per se. It, it's a racing game like Carmageddon is a racing game. Carmageddon? <laughs> Twisted Metal. Tell me, an old one you don't know Carmageddon? I've never heard about Carmageddon. Oh my god, it's an old PC Are you serious? And, yeah. I didn't really never get heard of game. that. It's so, okay. So you haven't heard of Carmageddon. Have you heard of Interstate seventy six? What is that? Final Destination two or something? Like what? no, <laughs> I've never. Oh my I've, god! I've never get this heard kid of... out of here! Oh I, my oh, yeah, I've heard, I, wait, hold on. I've heard of a Crazy Taxi. <laughs> okay, Burnout. I'd still count that. Yeah, Burnout. Um... Who's that? Need for Speed. So I'm pretty sure. That not only did they have console releases, I'm pretty sure Need for Speed also was like predominantly on the PC to begin with. Really? I yeah, think the I believe in like one. the old original ones uh, were. And they I still released so. them on the, uh, because the, like, what was it for like Need for Speed 3, Hot Pursuit, and uh, High Stakes, as well as Porsche Unleashed, were like visually and like almost gameplay wise and everything like that, almost like a different game experience compared to their console port releases. Huh. Let's see. You know, you know, uh, this might be a hot take, but if, even even though retro is like nineteen ninety nine and below, I actually kind of I can see the first PSP kind of retro because like oh, it had, it had one one, an, one analog stick. Uh, the like, PSP though, it was way ahead of it's its a classic, time. Right, right, right. It's ahead of its time. No, no, I I agree. No, PSP is, uh, was amazing in every sense of the word. I'm just I personally consider it retro just based on like it's. I mean, it's that was around around the time of PS3, though, so I wouldn't really know if I would be the person calling it a retro console. I mean, right. I guess at this point, because we're in, somehow in 2023, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I, I mean, could this... just be dating myself. I could just be dating I'll you. I'll date you. I'll, I'll date you. I'll date you. <laughs> Get in line. Uh, no, that's ridiculous. Uh, it's my podcast. I'm first in line. Um... I don't know. I just girls, like, girls, because <laughs> like <laughs> baby syndrome. I don't know. It's just like with the PSP, it was just a, not only a classic, but it like the build of it just felt like uh, I like it in today's world, it just feels old. I, like I, a PS2 it to me doesn't just... feel old, but a PSP feels old to me. Well, I think uh, that's just I, because I, it was maybe, like like Derek said, it it, it was a ahead of its time, but it was clunky. Like it, it was a clunky gaming platform i feel like i was i felt like i was holding a chunkier ds really and i think yeah. like i only had that console for i think like the Mega Man x remake that they did for that and uh dissidia final fantasy i think that's like the only thing i had that for because i bought it off of somebody with a check i remember that dissidia uh for myself crisis core and uh the monster hunter game that was on it Oh, that's oh, all I played on. Yeah, it. for me, it was a uh, Too Fast, Too Furious, American <laughs> Pie, American Pie Two. Are we uh, the done yet? Movies, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If, if you if you bought movies for the PSP, you're officially a Giga Chad. I don't care what anyone says. I remember watching a season of uh, American <laughs> like Dad off of somebody Chad. in the school bus uh, while they were on their PSP. What? Pretty lit. Yeah, Wait, somebody I... was like. Somebody got like American Dad episodes on their PSP, and I got to watch that stuff while I was um, on my way to school. That's amazing. The wonders See, of modern my, technology. I would use my PSP for uh, adult content because you could <laughs> download them and save them on the PSP memory card. I played your PSP. my boy. There I... <laughs> were a couple different ways you could have gone about that. You can either hop on the family. Look, computer I was young you and naive. All right. Derek, you got to remember that when you played his PSP, it's but, not that his analog stick was <laughs> stuck. Right. Sticky. It, it's that it, he, was, it, it, it was sticky. sticky. Yeah. It's just yeah. encrusted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I you go to top of the yeah, buttons. I, you just I didn't get the crunch. white PSP, all right? I yeah. had the black <laughs> PSP. Oh, he homebrewed it. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Ew. Yeah. Okay, you just took homebrew to a completely, <laughs> like, a completely new level. A whole new meaning. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, oh, you homebrewed it. Oh. We made it, we made it what? How far into this? Like, hey, country like girls make do, man. 10 minutes not even not even 10 minutes not even no not even <laughs> no, 10, 10 minutes. minutes uh what like 
All right, but who here owned Ben 10 Race Against Time? Let me see that, Steve. The movie, the live action? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, so as a rule of thumb when it came to games even in the retro age, I it was like an instinctual thing. I knew to stay away from the licensed stuff. It's like I could smell that it was shovelware. <laughs> what did it smell like? It smelled like a poor attempt at a cash grab, TBH. A poor attempt? I don't know. Uh, you know, uh... I, I don't know, because I, I, I know some of the licensed games were actually not that bad, uh, all things considered, but a lot of some of the ones I had uh, received in my youth and played were not, like, mm -mm. I was a miss. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, uh, some, some of that shovelware was pretty fun, though. Like what? I can't really think uh, of a specific on PS3. <laughs> okay, like, so you can't even think of a like specific. Like on 360, right. on 360, like retro. there was that terrible a Avatar: The Last Airbender game. That's not uh, shovelware, though. That was that's that's licensed shovelware. Shovel. They didn't put any effort. They their budget went all to the license. Oh, it's a, wait, what about what about Sneak King and uh, uh, all the uh, King? Gold. <laughs> oh, that's Absolute a gold. that is a Sneak King <laughs> example. Uh, the racing one, Big Bumpin, Big Bump. You're gonna look me dead in the eyes and tell me Big Bumpin wasn't a good game. All right, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm uh, just saying, are you considering a shovelware? All right, go buy a copy. No, no, no. Right those now, are then. those are like triple A titles. Like, come on, God <laughs> of War can't compare to Big Bump. All right, <laughs> they Sneak can't King even churn out a half decent burger, let alone a video game. Jesus, that's dude. right. Sneak King had Could you five ride the King's Whopper a little harder, piece. please? Yeah. Oh my, the King. That was the glory days of Burger King. Wait, did you say each game had only five achievements? Yeah, well, Sneak King definitely did. And it was all point-based. It was like, get certain amount of points in X level or whatever. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to... Yeah, you it find it, because I need to know. Um, I'm pretty sure I 100%ed that game. Oh, 12 achievements, sorry. Yeah. Uh, unlock all the levels. Complete all the challenges in all the different levels. Uh, achieve an A rank on all the challenges. Score 100,000 points, uh, and that's literally all the achievements. It's like challenges, points, and beating the levels. I mean, how, how long do you, do you think they expect you to play those games, Eric? It's like... Oh, a lifetime. <laughs> the, the, it takes around 15 to 20 hours to unlock all the achievements, right? I probably put hundreds of hours into sneaking just for... <laughs> For the giggles, you might actually be a sociopath. I'm not. Yeah, gonna lie I, to you. yeah, I can see uh, that. You know, <laughs> sometimes I. You know what though? All I'm hearing is that there's gonna be a Goons Games and Gear, uh, Sneak King speed run. Is is oh, all I'm hearing. If, if you, you if you if you own it, I mean, if, hundred percent walkthrough emulation. He, he ha <laughs> I'm sure he has yeah, like six I'll, copies. The way he's talking about, I I have access to unlimited copies of that. Wait, game, did right? you guys know there's someone who's actually collected like who's trying to collect every copy note to man? We talked about it a few months yes. ago. Uh, yeah, I remember we were talked about that. Yeah, it's Derek. <laughs> I that's, why, it. that's why he never lets me in his shed i was like what's that don't go in there don't, yeah. go, in there. don't go there it's <laughs> sacred remember the breaking bad scene where like they lay on the cash the giant like pile of money in the storage unit yeah i just picture that but with sneaking and it's just like... covered in sneaking <laughs> copies oh yes like i said anyway um now all right so i guess we're kind of in a more or less the 2000 or earlier is really what retro gaming is i guess like that's right. that that's that would why. be where I would throw it, yeah. Like, because okay. we're at the point with gaming, right? That we can have retro, and then we can also have vintage, right? Oh, uh, that's fair. Yeah, I, I mean, vintage because... would be a mm... vintage would be like Atari, NES. That, that doesn't uh... even include GameCube, yeah. right? What vintage, GameCube? yeah, it's like ZX Spectrum. I guess ZX Spectrum for anybody listening overseas. Um, I guess it'd be that. Uh, Commodore 64, uh, yeah. Atari, Amiga, uh, Jaguar, uh, stuff like I, that. I, At that point, I would say it would be vintage. Uh, NES, I guess, or, or would no, probably would, fall would, in that. I mean, I, I guess would, it would fall in that category because they were making games as early as the, like the late 1980s with that. But so I, I guess my my question to you, right? Because there's usually three tiers: there's retro, there's vintage, and then there's antique. Would you say that Commodore 64? uh 
and the like Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum and whatnot, I'd call those antiques. Yeah, I, I'd be. And then vintage would be antiques. like NES. Um, shit, what else was there with uh with the NES? It wasn't Sega. Uh, Sega Dreamcast. didn't come out yet, right? Well, like Dreamcast. classic Game Boy, yeah. I would say. Uh, oh, the first Game Boy was out like after that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. So well, is... the first Game Boy was out when when I was a kid, but that's because I'm old. Yeah, it was during the '90s. The Wait, NES is, was in the '80s. Is their yeah. PSP considered uh, or homebrewed PSP considered a vintage console? Or that's an antique. Pre- <laughs> that <laughs> deserves to be in a museum. <laughs> that's just it. a hate crime, actually. <laughs> no, if you touch that thing, it crumbles crime. to dust at this point. Like, why were you whitewashing that poor PSP? Like, what did it ever do yeah. to you, man? <laughs> How are you going to tarnish its identity like that? It's hard to say, though, that, like, retro starts in 1990. Like, GameCube's definitely retro at this point. Like, I wouldn't I consider that, really? like, a... See, I wouldn't call that I'd... retro. Yeah, I, I mean, wouldn't call it retro. I, I feel really? like that would be towing the line. Because, like, know. PS2, Xbox, like, original, like OG Xbox, and um, GameCube, I feel like that would be towing the line with retro. But, I mean, we're so far along now, it's like... Yeah, I, uh, I think that's the most difficult part when it comes to gaming. But, um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm 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 in the the mindset of anything before 2000 would be retro, right? Give it like a, I I, I know roughly like my my normal thought process is like 25 years, um, and we're not quite there yet. But at this point, you know, what's another two years? Right. We're just getting old. I think once you hit thirty, anything. Yeah. <laughs> once you hit thirty, Joy games just actually just leaves retro. your body. There's just <laughs> oh, no yes. Yeah. Oh, that's only at thirty. Oh, yeah, I, start, I started. I started really that young. Yeah, I started yeah, yeah. young. I'm talking like twelve, maybe ten, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> eight, possibly. All right. All right. Um. All right. So then, what's I guess collectively, what do you think is like, or what is your what is what is your favorite retro game then, or game? Uh, like we're talking 2000 below, um, All right, so and you, you can't say Mario 64. NES, Super Nintendo, I, I feel and like 54 t- to like change from. Nobody's picking Sonic. I feel like there, there was one. nothing on the Dreamcast. <laughs> All right, come on. You can't pick Sonic. You can't pick Doom, and you can't pick Mario 64. All right, you can so pick then Doom. You can go screw your it is screw your face yeah. clock. No, yeah, I no, don't you care. can pick Doom. I know. You, there, I, I there is nobody the telling that me that is Sonic like, is their favorite game. That came out the same year I was born. If not, maybe a year before. The game you're, is literally as old as I am. You're 48? <laughs> I'm 30, you dingus. God, what do you do with people calling me old? Like, he's four years... Dude, sorry. you look like you're in your Four 30s. years older. He is four years older. Um, all right, but, all right sorry. So what, what, what's your favorite retro game? Can we are we doing like a top three or do we actually have to pick like uh, one and only top one? Three. Do a top, top three. three. Yeah, top Can three. Can I include GameCube and stuff? I like I don't know. I... If this was the no, I guess hold on, hold on. Right, hold right, on. Right, right, right. I feel like for the sake of it, I, I think we can allow it. Okay. Two thousand and one in Japan. North America November eighteenth, two thousand and one. You know what? Sure. We'll we'll say there's a 20 year gap. Anything that came out right. before 2003, so we, we got GameCube, PS2, and Game Boy Advance <sighs> in the mix now. Then, and OG Xbox, and OG Xbox. Yeah, uh, those are definitely there. retro systems. Let's, yeah, let's, uh, I don't know. I, I've I've never thought PS2 was a retro system. Anything Dude, still on EV thing, was a, a, is a retro system. That right? the dish tray on the PS2 was legendary. Uh, <laughs> no, they're they're mind boggling <laughs> steps. That's what it was like, like twenty years ago when those consoles were coming out. Like, yeah, uh, twenty twenty three. But anyway, top threes. Uh, I don't feel like going first, so somebody else can take my turn first. All right. So are we, we're including GameCube in them? Uh, uh, yes, no, 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 no. Are we? Okay. Um, yes. We can if you want to, I guess. But let's see. Anyway, go. All right. If we're talking GameCube too, I'm I'm gonna say Naruto Clash of the Ninja, Naruto the Love of My Life, and naruto the naruto experience yes those are my all games. right where's no. where's the off <laughs> button on my not a honker <laughs> simulator uh yeah is there is is there like a mute function like there is on discord 
Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can meet you guys. <laughs> I don't think... Oh, of course. Like, I, right, can, I can report the to right, right, I'll, like I'll, speech, no, I'll right? go first. I'll go first. Here, here we go. I'll, I got go one. Ahead. I got one. Um, uh, for me, Majora's Mask is definitely like... But, like okay. Always a solid but, pick. But, well, Majora's Mask, uh, Mario Kart 64, because I just had so many great memories of Mario 64. And I'm not sure if this is... Um, this is more nostalgic for me, but uh, Vector Man 1 and 2. Oh, that's such a good choice. Ooh, yeah, yeah. The, me and my dad, like it was like one like one of the few games we like played together. Like like like, or I watched him play, he watched me play. And it was just really good memories. But Vector Man is just such a like, I'd say like a cult classic, I guess. Right? I it mean, is. It, I would absolutely yeah, call it a cult. Classic. Yeah, yeah. This is. I remember when game. my um, my dad's uh, girlfriend had uh, found a uh, cons or she had found a, a, a like a Generation One Genesis in her uh, closet. Uh -huh. And they ended up giving it to me, uh, just you know, no strings attached, no nothing. Like here, here you go. And we know you're gonna like this stuff. I'm like, yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> one of the first couple, like the first couple of games I got off of Amazon to uh, stock my library a little bit, Vector uh, Man One and Two. They're just amazing games. I, I like it. if I, whenever I think it's when I think when I think platform. like uh, either venture uh, when I think retro, that's like the first game that comes to mind. Just. Like and no one else I knew ever like wanted to talk like knew about it for some reason I don't know how my dad acquired it but it was just it uh, was like a really <laughs> tough too but once you oh, figured yeah. out how I everything worked it. and you found secrets and whatnot like I never oh my it. god it was just kid. so good yeah great I mean great so yeah that's like my I I mean I Vector Man one and two are like interchangeable to me so I just because they're both but yeah those are my my three okay okay that's fair that's fair thank you thank you. Um, I guess I'll take a stab at it. Uh, so for top three, uh, you know, Doom on PC. Uh, I'd love Doom I'd say one Doom and Doom in because it's basically the key. Yeah, I'd say the series in general, but but for the most playtime I've ever had throughout the series is lifespan. Uh, it was spent primarily in Doom two, just because of the modding of the modding community's just phenomenal dedication to this game and the when? insane amount of content they've pushed out for it when did uh when um, did doom come out for the pc was it like like actually windows like 90s 90? yeah it was, I, it was a, like i, I, I want to say it was like a, no because it, it was dust discs it was like in 1991 yeah. or 92 if i'm not mistaken i want to say it was like 92 okay 90, no, just, 93 uh, but 93. that would be my no, that that's, was 93 yeah. my bad uh but i would say that um it, this is a tough one. Um, I mean, I gotta say, it's Sonic Three and Knuckles. I'd count that as one game, and it's just <laughs> oh, Derek. <laughs> I I spent I way too many you know times what, running that no. game. Like I can okay. literally just I can run that back and forth, and I still come back to that. Right. Find myself coming back to it just to play through it every so often. I really? just stop my way through it. Uh, and then the third one for favorite retro game. I'm going to have to give this one to Pokemon Stadium 2. Yes, that's <laughs> no, because I didn't have an N64 growing up. Um, I'm going to give this one to Legend of Dragoon. I've heard yeah. of it. I don't think I've ever played it. It was Legend a uh, JRPG well ahead of its time. I think they're yeah, putting just... it on the PS Plus collection. It, uh, it, it, they they are. As they should. Which absolute yeah. banger of a game <laughs> love it which i know that at some point <clears throat> we were going to discuss the possibilities of games that we think need remakes and i yeah, think right. with legend of dragoon coming to the the playstation plus collection for like the premium members we may actually see that if more people download that if you have the premium and play it it, I feel like it gives more license for them to actually go, you know what? Yeah, let's let's remake you know, this. I don't want a remake. No. I want a sequel. Okay. He's on a, a, huh. oh, okay. A well, I like a sequel. I want them I to come out with a sequel for Legend of Dragoon. And I think people would still give it a shot if they added some cool stuff to the already pretty snappy combat system. Now, would it be Legend of Dragoon 2 or Legend of Dragoon? Legend of Dragoon. <laughs> Drag Tui. Rat Tui, yes, Drag that's Tui. also vintage. Legend Drag of Drag 2. I oh, have yeah. my moment, and it's similarly defecated on. 
immediately. I, <laughs> I, I just can't have nice <laughs> well, Somebody uh, else go. Oh, okay. just... No, no, I, I, no. I, I, but I, I agree. Like, no, Dragoon was a great no, game. No, it's okay. It's okay. I, 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 All right. I'm, I'm, the, I'm go the ahead, invader George, what's your I'm out of my element. What's your three? Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, I know it's Ten dogs. The ten cats. Uh, <laughs> well, well, well definitely a, a game that I don't feel ever got the credit that it probably should have deserved in Parasite Eve. It's not in my top three. Um, I've never heard of it. <laughs> I'd argue that that one's also a cult classic. It is. It is. Um, I, I would say that it's right there with, uh, you know, like Fatal Frame and Silent Hill, the first one, uh, which... Mm. Most people didn't really play Silent Hill until, like, The Room. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. So, like, the first Silent Hill got slept on, and I remember playing the demo disc on the, the PS1. Um, I I would... It, it would be a falsification if I didn't throw Resident Evil, the first Resident Evil, on this... On, on my top three. <laughs> uh, okay, it, that's fair. Right. Uh, you know, I have the, an Umbrella Corp tattoo, and uh show everything, it like I, I don't believe you show it it's on the back of my neck oh i was hoping it'd be on like the genital area sounds like you're turning around <laughs> in your chair <laughs> it's it's a really shitty tattoo it was the first tattoo i got when i was 18 and it's super small it's only about like the size of a quarter i was at a cost um, oh it was only like four. Oh, i'll show you bucks. something the size of a quarter Are you yeah, show it's a quarter, quarter. Yeah, I was like, yeah, <laughs> <it's cool. laughs> um, wow, we right, did it, so, guys. Good sleuthing. <laughs> all right, so Resident Evil would be on my top three. Um, damn, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, yeah, it's a tough one. It really it? is. Like, I'm sitting here, like, that's why I wanted to go last because I can't, like, decide. What Legend of Zelda it? Link to the Past. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, on the SNES, I played the shit out of that growing up um and i would constantly go back to it <sighs> a third one though um duck hunt uh uh frogger that, <laughs> duck hunt was great um but you know you know what in in the same vein as rob uh i don't want to take doom but i remember going to my grandparents house as a kid and my dad teaching my grandparents how to install doom on their computer for me to play while i was there and that was only because he found that that was more suitable for me to play there than the other game that I'm going to throw out here from uh, MS DOS, Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem. Ooh. Build engines are always good games. I, I'm more of a, uh, I'm more of a blood man myself, but Duke okay. is always good. I I waited what 13 years for Duke Nukem Forever, and I returned that down shit so fucking fast. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> No, so build engine fast. games are actually really good. So, fun fact about Doom for that nobody wanted to hear out of me. Um, that I game love my to had. <laughs> you said, <laughs> "Oh like... yeah, not not quite. Quite. the soundtrack for sure." Right there. Play, play the not game. quite, <laughs> but no, that game was actually installed more than a, like just copies of the Windows operating system around the time. Straight up, that How? game was installed a lot. It was a as soon as it you know got people's attention it was just a smash hit people were literally getting like in like entire departments at like work offices were getting in deep doo-doo because <laughs> bandwidth would be getting taken would be, they bandwidth would be getting taken up because yeah, people amazing. were death matching on company time that's like that's it was, keep morale up i don't know what their issue is <laughs> it was just a phenomenal I wouldn't even go so far as to call it a game. I call it an experience, really. Sure, it's like a shooting gallery by today's standards, but like, oh, yeah. If I could like really sure. love that game, man. If someone asked me, "Hey, what what was a better experience? Your like the first time you lost your virginity or played Doom for the first time?" I'd probably oh, say Doom. Doom for the first time easily. <laughs> Play Doom for the first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I probably would too. I, I would probably throw Doom in there too. Well, so what, so right. yours is Resident Evil, Doom, and um, and, and... nope, Resident Evil, Doom, oh, yeah. Doom, and uh, <laughs> Link to the Past, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. That's fair. All right, Derek, now it's your turn. You get you get one shot here. 
I know. I, I one like, opportunity. I want to just pick risk, GameCube games for the biscuit. Like those are like my. So die do hard it, favorites. like. So do it. That's <sighs> that's the whole question. Like your your diehard three favorite games from two thousand and two and before. <laughs> It's it's really gonna just be all GameCube. Ga- it's so do it. It's got it. It's got to be just melee. It. It's got to okay. okay. be melee. Super Smash Brothers. Uh, I'm gonna uh, yeah. It, it's it's melee, Wind Waker, and Geist. Ooh, Geist. Geist is the game that nobody has ever heard of, and Nintendo refuses to acknowledge ever existed <laughs> and won't remake. But Geist is this game where you play as a ghost. And you just you're in this house and you take over people and that's how you like murder them pretty much. It's just like this super cool horror game from the GameCube. Uh, yes. Like so, literal memories of playing that game over and over again. Not Luigi's Mansion. I it's literal. <laughs> it, I could just say GameCube and any game on there. Luigi's Mansion. Uh, Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine. I, I'd I argue know. that Pikmin 2 was probably the best game on GameCube. Oh my god, uh, Pikmin uh, 1 and what? 2? Yeah, like yeah. Mario Kart Double uh, Dash? Wait, like, hold on. on. I'm, wait, hold on. If we're including GameCube, I have right. Crap, I, I have to add Twilight Dude, Princess. Double Dash. Um, <laughs> yeah, Twilight, Twilight Prin- Princess. We literally got the best two Zelda games ever on the GameCube. I, mm. I'm Arena fan. Sorry. No, sorry, what? Ocarina fans. <laughs> what? No, sorry. I'm going to disagree Wait, with hold you on. No, the no, Master no. Collection what that had Ocarina of Time with Jorah's Oh, Smash. right. We got Oc- <laughs> Ocarina fans. You're back. Look. Look. It's, it's good. It was all there. It's, it's all a there. Christmas we literally miracle. Had, we had all Zelda games up until that point on that system. So, and it was yes. like the first right. portable so, system because they had handle on the back. Metroid Prime catch- 1 and 2? Oh, yes. my God. Yep. Yeah, phenomenal yeah. GameCube game. Era. GameCube and, by far was, I think, the best that, system that, of, of that's that. That's it. Generation. This is a GameCube episode. Let's I talk. love. Yeah, I <laughs> love Metroid talk about Prime this. so much. Oh, I played it Other randomized. Episodes, and I'm gonna go just off. because I loved that game so much, and I played like oh, Met- it took me a while to play because I never got the copy of it. But I played Echoes too. Like I want to say, like last year. Right. I. God, that was so good. It was. Are you getting like, the remaster, Rob, for the Switch? Of the first one, I might, I might. I'm not gonna lie, that uh, Nintendo Direct hurt a lot when they was like, "Oh, don't worry, you're getting Metroid Prime Four, Metroid Prime for the Switch." <laughs> yeah, there's a big brain scheme of that Metroid Prime Four is in development hell, so they're just gonna remaster eat, uh, the three Metroid Primes and just release them to hold everybody over. Which my, I wholeheartedly I, agree with. I, I told Derek this last anyway. time. I, I honestly think Metro Point Four is just going to be a launch title for the next Nintendo console. At this point, why not? Yeah, you know, it's just like uh, yeah, because didn't they say oh, one was already yeah. in development? Yeah, well, they had the they, it was in development, and then they scrapped it and had to completely restart. No, like, I don't mean yeah. like Metroid Prime 4. No, do I don't mean that. I mean, like, didn't Nintendo like say that they already are like starting to look at developing a new console? Oh, oh, it's oh, yeah, like yeah, I mean, it's, I'm sure it's that, like yeah. everywhere. It leaks right. everywhere or whatever. Um, but back to the GameCube, right? <laughs> People who say the GameCube was a bad system because it didn't perform well, like sales wise, you're an idiot. That's literally like <laughs> the on, best man. console of like library of games we have gotten for a Nintendo console. Like yeah, the it's... only thing closer was maybe maybe the n64 and half of the good games on that system were no like, i wouldn't uh, agree with that no i would no. say either I, G- I, I would say either game boy advance or we're talking we're talking yeah. home no, consoles, game, not, game not boy portable. advance we learned the other but day if we're talking it, home consoles it, it, super it nintendo Pokemon. sorry i gotta give it to super uh, nintendo i would give it the game mm, uh, actually, actually i mean no 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 rob's right super nintendo had mario rpg and we like mario we, rpg we, was so the we the we you had em, you could emulate it i mean <laughs> we're never gonna yeah, see Gino ever that's again. just copy and paste yeah <laughs> link to the past uh Mario RPG, yeah, Link Mario, to the Past, Super you Mario had RPG. Kart. I would definitely still say GameCube, Mario Final Kart. Fantasy, you had Super Dragon, GameCube had, you had, had Dragon. Super GameCube had mini donut discs. You know, the, the, the little discs. No, no, no. <laughs> We're not arguing that GameCube wasn't the best. We're arguing who was second best. And oh. and it it was mentioned yeah, yeah, N64 yeah. until Rob said no. Yeah, no, no. SNES. Super Nintendo is right. 
Yeah, you're you're right. You're put, I put N sixty four at a solid third. Wait, hold, I would put wait. It there. You're talking about best yeah, yeah. best switch best Nintendo console like like second best based off of like library. Oh, based on library because it's GameCube easily in my opinion. GameCube is definitely GameCube the best. Had so Switch many though, loud games. Switch is like solid fourth, and honestly, like it just keeps going up. Like is Switch that from, might be is, number is, one. Is that because of the Switch games or all of the virtual? console games that they're adding to no 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 we're we're getting like remakes and like uh, remasters and stuff and ports or whatever like they literally <laughs> ported pretty much everything except for star fox zero from the wii u at this point and the, the uh, hd I, remakes i actually like the wii u probably is one of my favorite nintendo consoles like nah, but it didn't have a good a library weird take. It, i i it I, I think i think it's ahead of time first it had its fisher price <laughs> You, no, you, can't, you can't think of you can't think of virtual console we're excluding vir like solely games uh like physical games i mean it I, had, I, the, I, had, I had, had the remaster I, and it, it was Wind definitely Maker. strong it had the most amazing right right we, we got we got so close <laughs> we got so close to eating good again like the gamecube and then they were like yeah we're done with this after two years and it's like <laughs> what but I'm like half chub right now, and you're gonna like <laughs> stop in the middle of this, like uh, smash. They the kind of dropped the ball with like the OG Wii. They dropped the ball with that one. I, I, I see, but I they wanna, went to I a wanna... more inclusive style to it, okay. and it's just. But I want to motion post something, control though. gimmick ruin the Wii, but like the Wii had a really strong library too, with like the Mario Galaxy games. Uh, Kirby Return to Dreamland was like the first good Kirby game since like. Okay, uh, the Game Hold Boy on. Advance. Hold All on, right. the um, motion control for the Wii. There. Don't you don't you dare talk smack about Canvas Curse. <laughs> was, was that on the DS? Was that the DS one? It oh. was on the DS. Yes. Oh really? I thought it was. Like, but, you but don't get to me. talk smack. Hold about on, uh, here, 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 George. Yeah, here. <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead, George. So with the motion controls, I counter you when you're saying that it like the gimmick kind of ruined the Wii. I bring to your attention Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Three. <laughs> Oh, oh god oh, oh god dude the oh, Wii. A oh what a banger oh you could not go online with that if you were on a wi-fi connection it was oh no 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 there was hey, no you, online if, play it didn't matter you you, you, if you had you plugged, plugged into over. if you're plugged into oh. like the highest internet known to man you still wouldn't be able to play no, 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 no the no, servers no, were so Wii. garbage dude and they're still but that is still one garbage. of the games where the gimmick worked all right you know how, how badass i felt playing as vegeta uh. <laughs> just throwing my arms out to the side going final flash like you know you can do that now what? on on the on xenoverse 2 on the switch can you yeah i it, have it's a switch light it, oh well <laughs> yeah oh well, i and just also, learned something today by the way, you know, in case you all forgot, the Wii U had classics like Ben 10, Omniverse 1 and 2. Hello? Oh, but I mean, we another question, again. well, another point I wanted to bring up real quick when you were saying, like, the Wii U for its library, if we discount remasters, because remasters are not new games. They're not. Okay. I don't care what anybody says. If you take the remasters out, how strongly do you still feel that the Wii U is? Still great. Be I, 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 look, because Smash 4. all a remaster it, is is Smash a visual 4. upgrade of a game that had already come out previously. Uh, we got the fast sale for Wind Waker, and that was... Uh, uh, I'm, smell <laughs> that I'm was smelling some opium there. <laughs> Dr. Look, Luigi, we're trying to just make that? light of that terrible system. I, 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 look, I loved it. I, yeah, I, that I, was in the middle of their Year of Luigi thing, wasn't it? Yeah. It's literally last but on I, the but list. I, but... No, I, I, I disagree. I Because I have to take everything no. into consideration. It had... All the emulation you want ever. Um, no, no, no. We're and, not including emulation. But, we're not that's, including that's, that. You, you guys, not, you look. No, I'm, dude, not, I'm, clean I'm, out so, your ears. We're, I'm so if glad we're basing you guys it are, off I of just system. If we're basing it just off system, the Switch is the best system. It's part of it the system. It literally has everything. It, it, it literally it, has everything. You, you can't argue that. It literally <laughs> yes, has I can, everything. I can. As NES to the N64, em, Game Boy. emulation has changed. All right. All right, Mr. Gamer. Riddle me this then. Can it make my breakfast? Uh, because I don't think it was the first mama. It was the first console ever you could take to the toilet with you. You you could neatly play co op because one had a Fisher Price toy that served as the ultimate map on any system uh, on any game. Like it was always the perfect interactive map. 
my it was boy. Just... I could do that with the Game Boy. What do you mean? What do you mean you could do it with the Game Boy? Like, I could literally go on the can with my Game Boy. Oh, oh yeah, I'm talking about a home console, though. Look, I look, I just think that the Wii U, you, and you have to consider that you put these in perspective as well. The, about, like, the emulation. the Because the virtual console blows Switch Online out of the water. Their their emulation scheme changed. Like, the, the main guy who did, like, who was, like, the Mastercraft guy for emulation, he left. And that's why we have these terrible emulations of, like, NES and uh, Super NES on the Switch. Like, they, the, the fact that, that the original Zelda actually gets slowdowns on the Switch is embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, I, like not, right. Yeah. Like, that's why I, I I think the Wii U had it in spades that um it had emulation on it. And they, I mean, you had to pay know, for man. it. I, but... think I, did, I think I did, like, my fastest playthrough of Super Metroid ever on the uh, Switch's virtual console. It was actually pretty... Pretty swag, not gonna lie. Pretty swag. Indeed. That's where uh, it, had, it had Monster Hunter games. It had Monster Hunter Frontier G. Remember that? Five to ten, or one to ten? Well, I don't oh know. boy! <laughs> Lu- new Super uh, Mario Bros. Yeah. U. New Super Lu- uh, Super Luigi U. All right, those games did slap. Uh, I'm not right. gonna argue with you there. But um, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure. Library Y is it still the game? Po- Pokemon uh, uh, Pokken, which was I thought was a banger. Uh, uh, Pokin was a yeah. yeah Pokin was a banger for sure. Right. Yeah. Um, Mario Kart Eight, like that's where it originated. It's just no one bought the system. That's why it didn't sell well originally. And that wasn't was that Mario Kart Seven. Now that I think about it, did they release on that? I thought Mario no, Kart Eight was, seven, no, was on the 3ds. Yeah, seven was on 3ds. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Um, eight was yeah on the the Wii U. Granted, the Wii U did have the the worst era of Mario Party games known to man. But uh, oh, but on the GameCube, it shined like brilliant. Oh, um, Skylander like, boomed you, on you, the on the Wii U because of yeah, the Amiibo okay. support. And Amiibo I'm slowly Amiibo support. crashed. I like a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I I already had a big problem with Skylanders when it came out because I I was like, what are you doing to my Spyro? True. Uh, oh yeah, oh. ruined Spyro. We can't accept that. Come on. Yoshi's it Woolly ruined World. Spyro. All right, Woolly World slapped. Uh, Rainbow Cruise sucked for Kirby. Uh, we did get Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, which yeah. was 10 out of 10. Uh, right. Star Fox was garbage. True. I, I, I truly believe that like all Star Fox games are garbage, except for Adventures at this point. But Animal Crossing uh, Amiibo what Festival. The, I, what? what? <laughs> That's right. And that wasn't even supposed to be a Star Fox game. You- N64 and then Star Fox Adventures are the only unique Star Fox games. Everything else has just been like copy and paste. <laughs> there you go. There's my hot take that just See, Rob's, shot throw, the Rob's heart. throwing. He's throwing hands. Rob, are you gonna look at me in the face and honestly tell me Zero was a good game? I would have liked to have played it, but from what I've seen, yeah. Oh my god! I can't believe there's no rematch. You had to. There was controls on the screen, and then you had to use the gamepad, and it was literally like you couldn't even play the game. Couldn't? Didn't you have to? to not play it like couldn't you like make yourself not play it with motion controls didn't they have that option no no like i know you had to use a gamepad but i thought you had to yeah oh pikmin 3 i don't know but it captain toad treasure tracker um breath of the wild was on the was was on the wii u yeah but apparently it runs better right nobody had a wii u at that time true uh hyrule warriors one super mario world 3d uh 3d world uh uh Kirby and the Kirby and the Rainbow, the Rainbow Curse. That, that game that was garbage. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, I said Pikmin three. Uh, Skylander Swap Force. Skylander Supercharged. Yeah, every Skylanders game. Woo. M- Assassin's Creed three. Hello. Wow. Oh, they actually uh, got Assassin's Creed running on that. That's crazy. Three and four. Yeah. Um, Paper Mario Color Splash. I don't know if that was good or not, but. Paper Mario fell off after Thousand Year Door. Don't at me. Oh, Mario Maker yeah. with the amiibo support. Was one of the <laughs> Mario best Maker ever. was pretty good. That that I mean Mario Maker Two is still really good. I just wish it felt as great as the first one. And the fact that they they removed the amiibo stuff is is mind shattering. All right, you know you know another game I will give the Wii U what? Splatoon. Oh yeah, yeah, they originated on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it did, didn't it? 
Do you know what Wii U, we're not arguing the Wii U didn't have a good library. <laughs> it's just not wait, like one of the best. I see. That's why yeah. I, I just do. I, I think it, you, I think it was great. So. You can't compare it to like. I uh, I will, look. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say the 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 hottest take you probably hear. I think the I think the Wii U is better than N64 library. I think that. Oh. Like like. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'd agree with that. I, yeah, I would I agree mean, with that, but I'm not saying stuff. that the the Wii U outbeats the SNES. Like, I, there's no, no way the Wii U beats the SNES. Beats I, I, different I, Nintendo. I, I, Wii U I, could I, be like number four for library. You know what? No, you, you know what? He's right. I'm going to give him credit because the Wii U pumped out a great library in two years, and it deserves credit for that. So I'll, I'll give it like the four number four <sighs> slot. There you go. You can have number four. I'm going to give it a second slot, but okay. See, I no, would have given no, him you're third. Asking too much now. <laughs> I give you something, you take more than you need. You get number four, and that's it. There's uh, just no satisfying this guy. I know. No. Seriously, no. Hot. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> did, it, did we ever like decide what Derek's retro games were? Oh yeah, he, he was too conflicted. Yeah, he, he uh, a... <laughs> it, I don't remember. It was Geist, Wind Waker, well, said, and Melee. There you go. Uh, yeah, Pikmin's on it, right? Said. No Pikmin? That's... It's just GameCube. You have you a rock I'm Pikmin. Gonna, <laughs> I'm going to say GameCube look, look, as a uh, whole. We'll GameCube do... as a whole, because every game on there was amazing. All right, and, and then I'll more. play... I, I and then I'll pick... To... Well, I was thinking. Gonna... I think we're going to need to have yeah, our next okay. episode just like talking about Nintendo consoles. I think that's yeah. just like oh, yeah. the yeah. We'll just do that. Yeah, next time. there's there's a lot to say about <laughs> Nintendo. Honestly, yeah. there's just it's. Mm. It's gotta be. I don't Come know. on, just pinch it's it so off. Hard. Just push that loaf out. You know you want. To. I'm gonna say just get Pokemon... yourself off the can. I'm gonna group these three: Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. That'll be number two. And then, <sighs> yeah, uh, well, yeah, it is on the game, the Game Boy, the original uh, Game Boy Color, I guess, but right. whatever. Um, no, it was the original Game Boy. Yeah, the original Game color Boy. Yeah. Oh, that's original. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm trying to think. I don't really know. Is there anything on the PS2? Well, there was a lot of. Cool I mean, there stuff was. I mean, there was. Yeah, but like, <laughs> like my top three. Like, I love Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank in those games. Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper Ooh, might be in there. Yeah. Oh man, I, mm. I, I can't bring it to myself to say Jack and Daxter is a retro game though. To me, it's just. I a feel like we game. might not have gotten ourselves into too much of this corner <laughs> if we forced ourselves to pick one out of each console's library that we've played. Oh, Kingdom Hearts, if I'm going to pick a PS2 game. Ooh. There you go. Mm, gosh, if I had to pick a PS2 game. Fuck, can yeah, I add another game? Can I, no, can I add another game? It's three. a top yeah. three, you mental Yeah, but my cut, I had like five because I was like one and two. And whatever. But yeah, no, you can say another one. Yeah. Y'all are ugly. Mortal Just Kombat. stick to your script. Mortal Kombat. I can't I, believe, I, I, you know, I was really surprised you didn't say Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, nice going, Derek. Oh God, no, no. <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna destroy something. It was, oh, that's totally really cool. cool. You know, I wish it, that would. I thought he was gonna like smash his broken TV, which would have been really impressive. <laughs> he would have just smashed a little full memorabilia there. No, Mortal um, Mortal Kombat's got to go on my list. I Mortal Kombat. I will replace Duke Nukem for Mortal Kombat for sure. Okay, that's fair. Get over that... here. That's what I'll do. I will replace Duke Nukem for Mortal Kombat. If I can only have three. There's so Mortal Kombat, so Resident Evil, and uh, Link to the Past. I don't know. If, if we're talking PS2, I'd have to say Battlefront 2. <sighs> Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah, I it's, mean, that's... I mean, that that is, pick for right. Me. All right. If we're, if we're including PS2, Shadow Hearts. I've never heard of that game. Ooh, that's a that's an obscure one. Wow. Shadow Hearts. Mm -hmm. Shadow Hearts. It's a uh, JRPG. Um, they had three games, uh, and Covenant is probably the second Shadow Hearts is probably acclaimed for being one of like the most obscure but biggest cult classic JRPG games on 
that era. I don't want to say of all time, but of that era. Uh, like, for for example, um, I recently was in a store. I won't say the, the name of the store, but uh, Derek was with me. And there was a, for the first Shadow Hearts game, a sealed, like, graded copy of Shadow Hearts 1. It was a 9.6, and it was $1,000 for a PS2 game. What? Yeah. Now that's mm-hmm. scalping. There's a, They have a graded copy of the Master Collection from the GameCube, and uh, yeah. it's like $4,600 or something like yeah. that at a 9.2 or 4, I think, something yeah. like that. I think we we need to all sit down and talk about some of these retro game prices because it's a lot of these yeah, really. games. I understand that there wasn't oh, the scalping on him some of these insane. really oh, there were yeah. a few of them that were like the get like the mid condition boxes and even like to throw out an example, right? The uh copy of Earthbound that was like strategy guide in box and everything. I think that's still like severely expensive i'd have to look into it earthbound yeah just ridiculously even out of box i think it's still like a 300 hundred dollar game it's yeah just, completed it's, box, it's super... i've seen i'm seeing like like the full version of this i'm seeing this go for fifteen thousand dollars fifteen thousand wow yeah that's for everything it. that was it's just like a super rare game too they didn't make a lot of copies in the u.s um, and I mean, you can you I, the only one I see here is like that's a really low price is thirty six sixty seven, but I can tell you right now that's a repro cartridge. A what cartridge? Uh reproduction. Oh, you mean like like from a third party? Yeah. So there's a thing that people can do where um, they can basically flash a ROM onto a uh, board that has the game on it, right? So they can flash the game to the board. And then build the like the little console around it, and that's what's called a reproduction cartridge. Huh. And how do I get my hands on a reproduction cartridge of uh, Spider-Man One? Uh, wasn't that wait? That was PS One. <laughs> you need a disc or an emulator. No, I want. Yeah, I want too. physically. I want Tobey Maguire's <laughs> voice again. I, I want. Oh. We support <laughs> emulation on this channel. Do what you want, kids. We support emulation. We support grunt rights Look, I, from Halo. I am all for emulation, but back I do up, feel that, that if you can, if you can, and own the physical copy, you absolutely should own the physical copy before emulating. However, I know some of these games are incredibly difficult to actually come by at this point. So, yeah, and it's your only option. Like, who's going to pay like two thousand dollars for a copy of Panzer Dragoon on the Saturn? Exactly. But there is a, a, a restriction, one, right? Like, there's there are emulators that you can pay for, and they're legal. Like, it's not just illegal at this point. There, there's a a certain line where the licenses expire, and then emulation is now legal. Really, you just but pay for the emulators and, and ROMs. Yeah, pay attention, kids. This stuff's important. From when <laughs> I started doing this, the legal nature of emulation is that if you do not, if you did not rip the game files from a cartridge or disc or whatever have you that you own you can download it you're allowed to do that but you can only have that file on your on your computer or any sort of digital storage of yours for 24 hours anytime after that you got yourself some illegal product there but if you ripped the uh, files yourself that is legal really yep yep because you own it yeah, you physically you own, own it. it. So if you rip it directly from the disc and or cartridge, it, it, it's yours. It's your property. You purchased it. Huh. I did some looking into I, it before I, thought, I started I thought, doing this. I mean, I thought it, it doesn't to... stop the like hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people that do this practice by the literal second. But that's the U.S. law, if I recall correctly, uh, surrounding it. I thought it's like if you, you just can't make a profit, like you can't sell it, you can't. Resell no, it. you. The thing is with that is you cannot like you can rip these for archival purposes and whatnot, and you know just to have a different medium to play it, as long as you own the original hardware. But if you're like throwing together like a collection of these and 
throwing them on an SD card on a Raspberry Pi and selling it as your own emulation software or like That's your own really like cool. little yeah. emulated arcade little thingamabob or whatever without going through licensing. Yes, that's illegal. You cannot do yeah. that. What if I sold it to you and then bought it back? Right. Well, well you still made a transaction. <laughs> now we're both in hot water. Congratulations. You screwed us both. Then we could both be in a hot tub. I don't know. I'm seeing only wind here. I, I'm seeing only prison time. <laughs> well, we'll or be fines. Jummies. Jummies? I, I'll be your, I'll be your, your like... You're, you're, I feel you're, like my will muscle? to keep talking in this gets lower and lower <laughs> every time you open your mouth. Oh, but I like opening my mouth. All right, uh, what were we talking about again? <laughs> I totally like. Um, we were talking. We're talking about before emulation. What we we're talking about, like top three games. We, but yeah, we were talking we were top, top three, three games, games, but we can't limit oh, ourselves. You wanted it, you wanted to add a PS2 game. I did. Rob and George added one. Oh, oh. Yeah, you said you wanted to. I never played the PS2, so I never, I don't have any, uh, oh, I only sure. played at, I only played at friends' houses, yeah. Oh, fair, fair. Yeah, yeah, Um, I only owned an N64, I think a PlayStation 1 for a hot minute, and then a place, and then a, uh, three, six, uh, then Xbox and 360 and PS3, and then so forth. Yeah, because I remember that OG Xbox. I remember playing uh, the like a- the Aliens vs. Predator. I think it was like that like RTS one at your place. I you know what game I, I miss playing on the OG Xbox? And Halo? I know that it's not the first of its time. No. Um, I Halo mean, too. Halo, sure. But no, uh, on the OG Xbox. And, three. you know, maybe it's my interest in relatively obscure i don't want to say overly obscure because i know that there's super obscure games that i have not played but jet set radio future was so much fun to play didn't they come with a sequel like in the last year no uh i don't think they came out or or is it or is it a rematch future was the sequel to to the one that originally came out on the uh well it was that was was like dreamcast wasn't it yeah yeah and and even that game was fun it was definitely an interesting one, I, and that's another one of those cult classic ones. I still see people talk about that from time to time. Yeah, Jet Set Radio, Jet Set Radio Future, Future. I I think they they absolutely stepped up and and made it better. But those are two games that I would I would love to to play again. Or if if we're going to segue into like, you know, remakes or you know new titles of Jet Set Radio is one that I'll throw on there. I'll play that. And all right, I'm gonna like go one all in on this one. If we're talking about remakes. List. Okay. What? No, go ahead. No, go ahead. You were done. <laughs> oh, I was gonna no, say. Clearly, if I'm in the wrong. Most of the games that I want to. <laughs> most of the games that I would want to remake for are not popular enough to actually receive a remake. Period. Like, they're never gonna do like a, a new version or a, a remake of Jet Set Radio and Jet Set Radio Future. They might remaster it. But we're never getting a new IP from it, and I don't know. I, I would love one, but a bunch of my other games that I have that I've thought about multiple time and time again. I'm like, yo, it would be great if they did this one and this one and this one, and then I think about it, and I'm like, I'm the only one who really like fucking likes these games. Like, I can mention <laughs> it to you guys, and right. Aside from me talking Derek's ear off about it years ago, like he probably wouldn't know him either. Well, Rob might. About... Oh wait, no, Rob, you want to say something? I did, because I want to put forward a, a remake or remaster or whatever have you. Uh-huh. No one I know plays this game. No one I know absolutely wants this, apparently, as bad as I do. I want to see a Kirby Air Ride remaster. I need to see something Kirby Air Ride. I, I need just, it. I, I think are, they want a sequel. I'd rather, I think it's going to be a sequel. But I, would I never really one, played but... it as a kid, and I just got it because it was like one of the exactly games I was missing. Exactly my, my like, point. You game could game literally play that game one-handed, but... and I would kill so many hours playing City Trial. It was I could probably see why I like game. Roguelike so much. One-handed? Yeah, you could literally play it because all you needed was the, like, the control stick, and you could assign like, the A button to like the L button, L shoulder. And you could literally play that game one handed. Did GameCube games allow you to re- reassign control uh, control schemes? Some were. Uh, really? I was going to say, depending on the game. I thought like that was like a. Uh, uh... 
what like 360 PS3 kind of thing, if that. I, I don't remember it being on GameCube at all. No, but it was a thing. I I huh. distinctly remember it. But Kirby yeah. Air Ride, that's my pick. Well, I Let's mean, see. I have I have more than just one. But look, hold on. A I gotta I gotta attend to this comment. Here. Hi-Fi Rush is the new Jet Set Radio, I think. Hi-Fi Rush isn't isn't Jet Set Radio at all. I mean, and like like the the graphics, the animation, like, yeah, aesthetic, yeah. yeah. But like not like Jet Set Radio is literally like a futuristic skate simulator, basically, right? That's yeah. You're it. you're you're a tag like you're you're literally a tagger and you skate to the beat of music and like Rhythm you tag action, you know. hmm. like you're you're spray paint. Like yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know. It, it... <laughs> he's he he he's he, he's he's busy trying to work off a chub. Just let him cook. Let yeah, him let cook. cook. Uh, I mean, that's yeah. that's not my major one. I'm just saying that's a game from the OG Xbox that I miss playing. That was maybe more obscure. Um, that's but... interesting. It almost looks like like a. I, I feel like I'm getting like Sunset Overdrive vibes from this, from Jet Set but Radio or wrong. the. I, I know it's like rhythm based, but like, I don't know. It's just like the art style and just how vibrant and colorful everything is, just from the yeah. images I'm seeing. This like this kind of reminds me of like Sunset Overdrive and you know Jet Set, of course. Yeah, but yeah, that actually looks pretty interesting. Overwhelmingly positive on Steam. They just play on Game Pass. I could do that. Yeah. Oh. Or I could just oh. do what I was planning on doing this evening and playing Warframe. <laughs> no, no. We're no. playing Binding of Isaac. Yeah, we're playing uh, Isaac yeah, Cardium. That's fair. Uh, right, wait, so, Rob, so yours was Kirby Air Ride, basically. Now, was it a re. So, well, hey, if you had to pick one, remaster, remake, or, or sequel, what do you pick? Remaster. Remaster. Huh. Because they've already proven that Kirby remasters can slap city like yeah, you can true. look at the return to dreamland one amazing you can look at kirby superstar ultra which is the proof i'll put forward in the most in for like superstar ultra was amazing the definitive version of that game yeah, as someone that played through it. the original snes one and then played through superstar ultra that was a definitive one they've proven that kirby games get the respect they deserve with remasters and if they remastered kirby air ride and threw some extra stuff in there too i i'd buy it on the spot I don't maybe, care how broke I was. I'd maybe make just it need the add, add online play, like official online play that wasn't Pupu I, Kaka. Oh yeah. <laughs> my god! I I, I try to get I I go pro with it. I go MLG. <laughs> I can't believe I know a Kirby Air Ride Master. <laughs> What's your secret? Yeah, you really gotta hold on to the the star. Uh, it's a uh... You just gotta, you know, wiggle the stick back and forth sometimes, you know, just the game just kind of plays itself. You just kind of gotta steer a little bit. You know, Wait, hold on, I didn't realize. That you pick Kirby Air Ride, but not like the Sonic the Sonic version? Uh, what was that, what was that racing one called? Like Sonic? Free Riders? Sonic Free yeah. Riders or whatever? No, Sonic is a free I mean, <laughs> I don't really have to do that oh, because sorry, I mean free the, they, that game, the, like, I think it was like Riders and uh, Riders Zero Gravity actually do have a modding community behind them. And they were making like a championship edition or something like that for it that just kind of like changed some mechanics around. As well as just kind of balanced characters out and whatnot. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Sonic Riders. I thought it was actually like a really cool game. But I got to give it to Kirby Air Ride. Uh, I want to see if there's any like possibility of a sequel. Like, is there anything in the works? But uh... Ain't no way. Ain't no way. No way. They refuse no way. to acknowledge... That this absolute banger of a game <laughs> exists, and I'm still mad about it. Mega Sakurai just doesn't understand how racing games work, even though he apparently made a masterpiece. Did he? Was he? I mean, I know he he owns Kirby, but did he have a like? Did he play a part in Air Ride? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's made by Hal Laboratory. Uh, a racing game required a joystick and exactly one button to play. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not wrong the one button and a control stick is all you need and it's oh. like going to be one of the best experiences of your life i love that game uh let's see twitter user nakolik uh, of all source gaming uh provides translation of sakurai's thoughts on the subject 
Uh, Sakura said, many great games have sequels, and knowing when to release sequels takes some know-how regarding games' maturities. It's difficult to deliver on the images that people have in their minds for sequels. So, that's a, a vague response. That was so pretty much... It was a vague response, but they basically said, lol, no. I don't know. I mean, everything else is getting no. remasters. Thanks. Th thanks, Sakurai. Thanks. What did that release? <laughs> 2003, July 11th. Did you did you buy it on release day? Uh, it was one of like the first oh, sorry. things I got with uh, my GameCube. Sorry, I'm sorry. That, that was in Japan. And it was October 13th for North America. Yeah, it was like, I don't remember when I got my GameCube. I want to say it was like I was still... Uh, I think I was still in middle school when I got that. But that was like yeah. one of the first games I got for that console. No, yeah, Sakurai did. Yeah, he direct. He was the director for it. Um, yeah, I got my GameCube because my dad is going make to another one. <laughs> my dad got too pissed off that my brother wasn't sharing the uh, the 360, so I got my own console. I was like, stonks, <laughs> win win. <laughs> this is uh, I you know I should I, I gotta emulate. It. I never played it, but it it looks uh, the fact you only need two two inputs is sounds hilarious. I, I think we should really get a night going of it. I think it would actually be pretty fun. Oh, did they add, like, did modders add support for online? So the emulator Dolphin itself has oh. uh, multiplayer support, so you can actually do it that way. God bless Dolphin. God bless Dolphin. God bless Pascal. Um, it's how I ended up playing Chibi Robo, actually. I am I was surprised by that. That was a really, like... Chibi Robo is multiplayer? Off no, it doesn't have multiplayer, but like just speaking of Dolphin, that was the whole reason I was able to actually try that game out. Because I remember wanting that as a kid, and I never really got around to asking for it. But I played it years down the line. It's like, I don't really... Because it's basically just like you're just this little robot going around doing menial tasks and whatnot. And on paper, it doesn't sound like it'd be an interesting game. But it was like, oddly charming. Like, I, I didn't know if I'd it. have fun with it, but... <laughs> Speaking, it was just, speaking of Dolphin, it was did anybody else play Echo the Dolphin on uh, Sega Genesis? Yeah, for like I played a little seconds. bit of it, and I couldn't get out of the first area because I couldn't figure out that you had to like jump out of the water a bunch of times. Yeah, but Echo the Dolphin, that's another one. Give, give me a new Echo I, the Dolphin. I heard that I'll one was it. like really difficult. Just play oh, Echo? At yeah. Some point. Games, games, people forget that games, you know, when when we were growing up, we're way harder than games now. Like, yeah, you ever true. take a run through a Shinobi three on hard, or or Ghosts and Goblins? Okay. <laughs> all right, we're 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 all right. So, a profanity Goblins, aside, yeah. we're not we're not we're talking about playing retro games. We're not talking about the uh, good old CBT. CBT. I can't say that on a public stream <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to get you guys demonetized like last time cognitive really, behavioral the therapy dolphin makes battle toads look like cake cake yeah. i love cake yeah. and you know just coming from a guy that actually did play through battle toads uh, i you know what i would be inclined to agree with that even though you know i haven't didn't really get to play a lot of echo the dolphin but wow who knew that playing a game with a dolphin would be the single <laughs> hardest thing on the Genesis library? Right? I'm trying to, I mean, my connection, my uh, problem is I don't know if I'd want a remaster or a remake of Vector Man. Because if you remake it, I'm afraid they're going to mess it up. Ruin in terms it, of, yeah. Yeah, they're going to ruin it. But. Yeah. That's one of those it, games yeah. you have to be careful with. It, There's a, very it careful was known for snappy, fast gameplay and you i'd almost argue that that needs a remaster if you're going to do that but i would it, i would I, go remaster collection just uh yeah yeah you know just like because metroid prime you know yeah that just released but that's three huge like not huge but you know like full scale games versus well, i can't imagine remastering vector man one would take a lot of time it just you know i i think if you i think if they just remastered what, there's only two right or the three I think there's only two, right? Yeah, there was only two. Vector yeah. Man 1 and 2. Yeah, if they just remastered both of them, I think that'd be like a really easy sell. Even though no one really knows about it. But my hope is that it comes to Switch Online. At least I can get that. But it's not there yet, apparently. 
I mean, I can still play yeah. my physical copy, so I don't know. Uh, to to. <laughs> Ooh, I play physical copy because I have everything. <laughs> Aren't you Video lucky? games. <laughs> the, the, the video game. I need to go back and beat it for just for my dad's sake. Like I need to get past the plane level. I need to beat that double-headed dragon thing in the forest. Um, those those two are particularly will come to mind. So I need to go back and beat two. Now that I think about it, I don't think I beat either of them. I just I was too young to be like to put the time in. But uh, yeah, that's I guess my, that's my. I want a remaster of a collection of one and two. That's. Wait, Vector Man's on Steam? Hello? I'm oh, it must be one of those like, emulated been playing Psycho this ones. whole time. You're screwed. <laughs> I had you no could idea. You literally be it playing cost? it right now, man. It's only a yeah. dollar? Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, it's on. What I'm... a steal. <laughs> Does that Vector Man 2, though? That's the real Vector Man 2. It's both. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Mm. Do, do I pay 99 cents each for, for nostalgia? Yeah, I'm paying it. I want it. I'm going to get it. But it's not compatible with Mac. No. Nah. I mean, that's your. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. We got a yeah. guest star. We got a, we got a guest star. Yeah, that would be that would be one of the cats. Can, I, you, I can you bring him on stream? Out of here. Uh, you, he is oh. not friendly. Like this clown Rob. I have a hissing contest on stream soon. Well, it's not the friendly one. I know no, you had a friendly okay. one. No, the friendly one was one I got from a uh, <gasps> friend of mine that had to. Uh, he was moving out with his uh, wife, and he was pretty much just like, "Hey, I need to downsize on animals. Can you take the cat? He Aww. knows, like, he knows you. He's really comfortable around you." And uh, we ended up getting him that way. But um, anyway, besides the point, that's off topic. Wait, wait, um, hold, hold on. I'm sorry. Just to mention, just go off that for one second. I think for one of our streams, we need to all have our cat on like the screen. Just that's the thing talking for us. <laughs> I mean, I gotta be able to get that guy. All right, just I gotta, I gotta, stream. I gotta get permission to get my cat to bring her here, and then I can do it. All right, yeah, I, I, I my like cat it. Doesn't live with me. We'll, we'll do like a like yeah. a bird's eye view and just like of it in a certain area. I think it'd be great. <laughs> or on our lap, whatever works. Um. So yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with remaster of Uh Derek, your turn. What are you, what are you gonna do? Oh, I've what got more than we just want, one. What remaster we want? Remake, remaster, like of the old game. It's guys, Nintendo. Re- I tweet Geist. at you like once every week. Just remake or remaster, guys, please. What would you rather have though, a remake or a remaster? That's the question. I guess a remake. I want to remake in the sense of like the Dead Space remake, though, where it's like everything's pretty much exactly the same, just like right. better graphics, better controls. Okay. So not yeah, like I'm trying to think. What did they remake and blunder recently? Um, I guess really nothing. Well, we have. But I know there's see. something. Let's look up uh, bad uh, remakes. I... It's like like Knights of the Old Republic, I would say, would be the remake I want. But I know that's coming, and I'm so scared that they're going to ruin something. <laughs> oh, uh, the, the original. The stuff. Last of Us Part 1 remaster, that's just not worth. It's just worthless because it, it didn't need it. <laughs> Nothing. It didn't need it after X. We <laughs> had remaster a remaster. Of the remaster? We didn't need a remake. It, it was just like um, not even a remake. It was like, oh, we had more dirt. There you go, remaster. Uh, remake. All right. Mm. Dirt flavor. I've got oh, oh, my favorite. Oh, wait, GTA trilogy. That was a bad remake. That's it. Yeah, oh, yeah. they yeah. they really dropped yeah. the ball on that one. <laughs> right. That, like that was just really, yeah. really bad. Um I'm try- oh, uh War uh I found like just ones I can relate to. Uh Warcraft 3, Reforged, when that came out, 2020. Mm, Absolute yeah. dog water. Uh and then and they also like tried the profit off of like your creations i believe they hadn't like the the agreement um oh lovely I've, yeah never yeah it was like like because yeah because because what was what was made because of warcraft there there's some like super popular game now that like it was originally a mod i mean it was dota no it, it was, oh um, yes yeah dota dota, was yeah a... Right, it was a Warcraft um, mod, yeah. and then they're like, "Oh, if yeah. someone else makes something super popular, we'll just like 
put in the agreement that like anything you make, we can profit off of and like we own it. It's like okay, well you guys. And that led to League of Legends and look at <laughs> and it did, up. yeah. Riot, was... Riot like one hundred percent was like, oh yeah, you know why we're successful? We took these things that were like somewhat popular, and we just focused on it, and now look. Yeah. So I mean that's um, the I, I you guys want their playing. fighter. I want their fighter to come out. Their fighter? What? Oh, oh, they, yeah. They, yeah, yeah they have a two D fighter. Eh, I'm not really. I want it. As long as I can see I Caitlyn and Vi kiss, that's all I care about. Oh, you know what would really be good? So they had a fighting game on Super Nintendo that was uh that oh, was uh, like a fight? Gundam one. Gundam. Oh no, not Killer Clay Instinct. Fighters, oh my. God. No, not that one. It was Gundam Wing Endless. Oh, Duel, Mortal Kombat 2. And they did like a fighting game. I, can you stop? <laughs> you said it's Gundam Kombat. Wing Evolution. Wait, hold on. I, 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 I said Gundam Wing Endless Duel, right? Oh, there you go. So it was like a, Endless it was, Duel, yeah. you know, it's kind of a bare, bare bones ish fighting game. I mean, there was like 10 characters, oh, yeah. like nine, and with one unlockable. I'd love to I've see a, another proper go with that. I, I've got a genesis fighting game that i would love a i i would say a remake at this point but i i wouldn't want them to completely fuck it up um which was primal fury or primal that's rage a, i'm sorry primal rage that's a good pick though i remember that one being really good you know and, I, might... I mean they they had uh, yeah there was uh for a second primal rage it was on the Genesis. They did come out with one uh, on Sega Saturn and uh, the SNES, but it wasn't as good as the original one, in my opinion. And it was very simplistic, right? Like, you're giant creatures. So, like, there was a, a King Kong-esque, and there was, like, a giant raptor and stuff. And you're fighting, and you have little, like, tributes and, like, worshippers on the ground, and you could, like kill your enemies worshipers and stuff I, I don't know it was very simplistic but i would love to see that get like redone um also on on terms of fighting anyway. games that i would love to see come back bloody roar bloody, bloody roar that's another good one i told you like i've you got a literally games you could turn into a furry mid-fight it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude that's and, what makes and it crazy. you can combo that so like your animation into oh man yeah um i might change I had mine a pretty, to, i mean i can't uh, even really say i, I, I want a killer instinct re i can't even say i really want a killer instinct remake no. because they already did one and it was and it was awful it, I'm, I'm gonna go on no i'm awful. gonna go on record and say it was great it was amazing what if we got a remaster yeah. of soul caliber 2 for the gamecube so that way we uh, play they like... did they did a remaster of that on the playstation 3 if i recall correctly really yeah it was on there yeah yeah but could you play as link? Yeah, I I have link. Too. no 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 no, oh, yeah, no he I it, it, didn't have any, it didn't have any of the exclusive characters actually no 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 i think it did i think it had heihachi and spawn and that was it mm -hmm. wait uh, wait yeah, i thought link was thinking... nintendo exclusive Wait, but then why, why did wait PlayStation had Hi Hachi and uh, some in Spawn? No, no, X, I think Xbox no. had they Spawn. They split three exclusive, three right. exclusive characters uh, per console. The first one, PlayStation Two, had Heihachi from Tekken. Of yep, course, that's cool. In case right. you don't know, um, Xbox had Spawn from you know the comic Spawn, uh, and then GameCube had Link. Yeah, I played the GameCube and version then, and it was slapped. It was amazing. Soul Calibur 3 had Yoda for Xbox and it right. had uh, Darth Vader for PlayStation. Yeah, those are exclusive. Didn't ones, that one I also believe. have Star Killer too? Did it? Uh, I think there was a. I think. I remember Star Soul Calibur 4 having Star Killer. Oh, he wasn't an exclusive? No, no, I, I think he was. I think he was a. An exclusive, but was it for the Nintendo? The Apprentice. Uh... Uh, let's see, the Apprentice really. Uh, Soul Calibur Four. Four. Yep. Um, opposite console DLC characters: his Master Vader and Jedi Grandmaster Yoda. So he was. The console. Which... Of, uh... I think it was just DLC. It's been a while since I played. 
it's been a while since I played Soul Calibur. I remember the uh, picking up the new one, and I had a lot of fun with that. I want the. I know. I like, wish it, I got it, into it. I think yeah. four was the last one I really like played. I want the. I wish I got into it because you could use the character maker and use it online, and that just seems like a lot of fun. I got a friend group I'm hanging out with up here. I was hanging Dude, out with jealous. up here in Michigan. I got. Yeah. I got friends? them to stop playing Soul Calibur Six because I was so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like I had a, I had a disgusting Zigfried that they just could not get through. What we? You, why did you play as Geralt or uh, or Geralt or however you pronounce it? Or how about like Cube Man? Sometimes you pick up. So, so see, it just seems like in some of these fighting games, like I'll pick up characters and try them, and I think that they look cool, and I'm like, oh, that's actually a really cool character. Let me try him, and then their play style is just it's a miss for me like it's just like right i'm kind of i'm an ungabunga type of guy when it comes to my fighting games i i like big stick hit good fast but 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 dead it's why characters like astaroth and nightmare and Siegfried are perfect for me because i like being able to have big reach and being able to you know time stuff and whatnot and being able to work around those weaknesses i can account for that I don't want to have to play like 4D chess while I'm playing somebody like Geralt or Link even where I have to micromanage like, well, not even micromanage, but I have like, just it's just too many options. Just give me the stick. I'll get it done. <laughs> right. Just give me the stick and I'm going to win. You're a winner. You know that you're all winners in my book. I don't feel like <laughs> a winner, but thank you. <laughs> What do I have to do to get you to stop feeling down in the dumps, man? What What is it going to take for you know. to put that just big old smile? You know what on it'll take? Say, a geist remake. I'm winning, yes, bros. A geist remake. What if it was a pick? Wait, 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 wait! Back to the Nintendo discussion. The Wii had Mario Super Sluggers. Are we forgetting this? The Wii slapped. But you can play that oh on the Wii God. U. All right. I'm glad your so brain just what, caught up. But so is that was Superstar. Okay, just, so it's that Superstar back, baseball one on the GameCube, right? Am I the only one no, that wasn't like, feels same. like that it game was cheating? Same. I feel like that game was cheating. Like really, I, I was thinking like, there's no way I can be this bad at a video game because I was getting my, <laughs> I was getting my Dookie rocked in at like uh, every dude. opportunity at Superstar baseball. <sighs> Super slugger, so we just got it working on. I think Dolphin. And yeah. uh, it, it is. I'm God, so it, excited! It's so wait. good. I we need the. It has to be this year. The newest, a new baseball game. Yeah. Just make it Super Slugger two. In the rotation. Come on. Or just do just do a remaster with online. Thank you. That's all. That's all you have to do. Yeah. That's all yeah. I need. Nintendo. They're just they're just gonna throw all that attention into tennis for some reason, and then maybe a Mario no. Golf at some point. But the, no, those, those are, are those past those, that now. The, the, those are all done. Literally, baseball is the last sports game that they that they can that they can do. It's the last one. They got soccer. They got golf. They got um, what's the other one? Soccer, golf. Oh uh, wait! Did no. we uh, wait? Did we get an Olympic Games before tennis. we ever got like a current Olympic we, Games before we ever got a baseball? not on the Switch yet? No. Good. Those Sonic and Mario at the Olympics are stupid. <laughs> like, actually... It literally feels like I'm. It feels like I'm playing like licensed trash. I remember playing an Olympic game on the N64 and remember thinking that it was better than their first attempt at the Olympic Games uh, for Mario and Sonic. Those, so... those games were like like. Th those are like sho like pre yeah premium shovelware. I don't yeah, know why anyone would, would yeah. what anyone would actually buy those games. It it's just another little entry. It's just another entry, another teeny tiny little small entry on the massive pile of absolute dog water that is their <laughs> shovelware yeah. license titles. I'm still I'm sorry I'm still stuck on like games that I want. Brought back or yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, so like I, I, I'm also thinking about it, and wait, I know hold they're on, hold obscure on. games. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it this way: one remaster, one <laughs> remake, one sequel. For reference. Fuck. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I think that's a little better. Mm. Oh boy. Fuck. <laughs> I, I want a remaster for the collection of Vector Men. I want. Uh, I want to sell. Uh, that's not. I, I just challenged myself to a hard question. Um, 
see. Cool. Congratulations. You played uh, yourself. <laughs> Oh man. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I got it. Well okay. I got it. Go. Okay. Go ahead. I want a remake of Primal Rage. I want a remaster collection of Bloody Roar one through four. And I want a sequel to Jade Cocoon. Not Jade I, I want an official Jade Cocoon three. Okay. Well, I'm glad you reached one person uh, in the audience who knows what the hell you're talking about. You know what? what, you did. Did. You know what? That one person is screaming right now going, fuck yeah, she's right. Yeah, he's got a dream fan. I don't know if I want a sequel to Pokemon Coliseum or or if I want a sequel to uh, uh, Sonic Adventures 2. Well, you uh, got a sequel to Pokemon Coliseum. You just uh, got okay, Battle I, Revolution. I, okay, okay. Dog- but, uh, like, yeah, okay, like a proper sequel, but I think I'm gonna go with the. Uh... Oh wait, 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 did Legacy of Kane ever get like an actual sequel? No, uh, right? no, yeah, because there's I... two of them, right? Because the last I heard of that, they were still working through Raziel stuff, weren't they? Yeah, but those weren't. There was like I, a bunch I... of spinoffs that, like the subtitle, yeah, of Legacy was... of Kane, but. <sighs> Soul yeah, Reaper two on PS two was was an official uh, sequel, but. Okay. Give me um yeah, so I, I guess I'll go with uh uh I want so I want Sonic Adventure three and uh, that's my that's my sequel and then I guess for re um for a remake I, I want I want a remake of like Mario Party four. That game was amazing. <laughs> Actually so hold on real quick because I'm looking it up. The games for Legacy of Kane, there was Blood Omen Legacy of Kane. Yeah, uh, that's one. Then yeah. there was Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Then Soul Reaver 2, then Blood Omen 2, then Legacy uh, of Kane Defiance, and Nosgoth, which was a multiplayer game. Uh, mm-hmm. In response to a series of internet leaks, uh, single player, uh, the game was intended to be viewed very much on a separate branch. Uh, Crystal Dynamics were not involved in its development. Uh, the game officially shut down its servers May 31st, 2016. No! So, but it began open beta January 2015 and it shut down servers like a year and a half later. No. Nah. Right. Um, uh, also, okay. real quick, I have to make a slight addendum or maybe Rob wants to take it. I don't know. Mega Man Legends 3. Oh my God. Yes. It's not going to be what I want to pick, but yes. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll replace Jade Cocoon 3, but I will hold it, hold it in my heart. Give me a third one. I need to know what happens. I know. <laughs> they were so good. I know, good. man. They were so good. Well, actually, a but, remaster right, of Curious right. George for the... Oh, oh, oh I got it. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I know what I want. I feel like so yours guess... are going to be memes now, yeah? No, no, no. I I have um, serious picks only. Okay, no, let's hear it. Right. You go ahead and then I'll go no. last. Okay. I want a remake of Geist, uh, but like keep it the same story-wise, just update the graphics and gameplay. I want a remaster of the... I didn't really think of the remaster. Damn. Uh, I want a remaster of... I'm gonna say Minish Cap. I like don't don't change much. Just update the graphics. Even if you wanna, uh, no, I still want the eight bit. But I'd rather take like, a sequel maybe for a Minish Cap. Or... Uh, no, no, no. Because I want a sequel for Dragon Ball Raging Blast. I want Raging Blast three with everybody in it. Uh, uh, I because uh, Xenoverse it's like close, right? But it's not the same. I want like Raging Blast three. Uh, I don't. I mean, uh, that I, I, like I I completely agree. Um, wow, but at the same time, I don't because it's like Xenoverse Two basically has everything, and it's hard to. Um. Wow. Also, double side note. Uh, <laughs> the local recording stopped for this, like like to my hard drive because it ran out of space. Fun times. Yeah, uh, that's wrong. Um, thank God uh, YouTube I'll... saves it, and you can download it. I guess then it's my turn. So remake. Hmm. Well, I've already got my remaster. 
and I've got my sequel in mind, but the remake I want to see. Uh... You can you can say Armored Core, Rob. <laughs> I don't want to say core. Armored Core. I don't want to say Armored Core though. Because we're getting a new one, I know. That's why. Yeah, it, it's just it's, it wasn't a game I didn't get to play a lot as a kid, so I can't really say that for certain. I did get Armored Core want... 2 later on down the line, and that game is Slap City. I love it. But um, if I were to remake Godzilla Save the Earth. Oh, God. Oh, yes. God. Uh, Why would you say that? Yeah, that's like, a, I would, a, a we are overdue brain, for a huge kaiju fighting big brain, game. Like that. Yeah, we are was, so yeah, that's, overdue that's, for that. That's the I would take a remake of that, for. updated graphics, more monster or more kaiju, the whole nine yards. Maybe get some Ultraman in there. Hell, why not? Uh, um my remaster was gonna be kirby air ride because okay I'm, I'm ride or die for that little pink puffball right um and then my sequel was gonna be legend of dragoon 2 right okay can we get a cow rp sequel can, can we get that, that retro game? Funded? Can we... i'm gonna start a <laughs> go fund me forget the sequel can we just get the servers back yeah, seriously, okay. Beyond. I don't know what happened to you, but come back just for Cow RP. Do we know if it's Maybe. offline or are we just assuming? I don't know. We're just assuming. Maybe Derek. Sounds like it's. This Derek is the back. only one that will agree with me. What about a remaster of Blood Rain? Oh my God, Beyond might still be a thing. Blood, Blood Rain? Rain? Ooh. I never heard I like of that. Blood Rain? Is it like Blood everyone Rain. gets like AIDS or something? Nah, nah. I think Beyond you're still a, exists. Uh, Wait, why? You're, you're uh, terminal cut on Steam. Basically, it takes place uh, before World World War Two, and uh, you are you play as Rain, and uh, that's the character's name. They made Whoa. a movie off of it. Beyond, holy moly! Beyond was responsible for. His I wondered why that name sounded familiar. They did <laughs> Space Station Thirteen. Yeah, dude, Beyond had unbelievable classics, such as the uh, yeah. like dra like a Dragon Ball Z custom game, which was amazing. Cow RP, uh, like oh, Red and Evil games, Naruto Wars. Um, it was just oh Naruto Wars, dude, that was <laughs> so much fun. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's insane, dude. Yeah, Beyond was amazing. Absolute like hard hitting games. Woo. There's still like two thousand, like uh, just under two thousand people still playing Space Station Thirteen. That is the only thing keeping them afloat. Oh, Derek. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so apparently in summer of 2020, Ziggurat Interactive bought the rights to Blood Rain franchise and other titles from Majesco, and intends to revive the series with Terminal Reality. Oh, thank God. We might see more Blood Rain, but you're you're a female dampier. Uh, set right before like world war ii so you're like killing people with like vampiric powers and stuff and it, it they i remember the spank material being pretty on point oh, yeah. rob god <laughs> and we back um, <laughs> okay. uh, i feel like that just goes without saying but you know six and one half dozen of the other i'm sure the gameplay was rob, good what about uh, a new like shinobi I know you played that. I would go for it only if they stick to the side scroller platformer. Really? Only only if they go for that cuz that's where the game series excelled because to my knowledge that is probably one of my top favorite Genesis titles and was probably one of the only games I will ever consistently want to go back to because I've never had a smooth action platformer that ever felt like it. The music was amazing. The mood was amazing. The graphics were amazing for the time. <laughs> for the time. I, everything felt snappy and smooth. It was just... It, it needs to be a side-scroller platformer or I'm not buying it. And if it's not? Then I guess I'm just going to go about my day. Probably just go to bed, <laughs> go to work, and just continue on. I can see that. Live with Live with the eternal disappointment that I can literally have nothing nice in this day and age anymore. Oh, dude. There I agree. Was another like ninja game that played on Ninja it, game? PS1. Yeah. Uh PS1 was Tenchu. 
that would be the one. Tenchu, you might be yes, of. yes. <laughs> I, I, w- I would love a new Tenchu. I, I would. Actually, you know what? I would. I would pick it up just out of principle. I no, which have more games now do? that I need to add to my my. What's up? Which one were you gonna do? Or were you gonna just uh, do as many as you can? Because Wrath of Heaven was pretty boss. I remember playing that Wrath one, and then I, I think like 360, they had like Tenchu Z, I think it was called. Yeah, and then there was also like Tenchu Stealth Assassins on the, the PS, PS1 as well. But no, I think yep. I was going to do Wrath of Heaven. Wrath of Heaven was a really good one. Yeah. I especially like the third character you could unlock in there. It was just a, like a doctor assassin dude that would just like snap people's necks on the spot. Yeah, what amazing. Weird experience. game is this? You, it was Dumb. literally like ten missions to a character. You were playing as literally like either like two ninja characters, and you could unlock a like an assassin character. Okay. And the whole point was just to like get into an objective and just mark everything in your way, but you know not get caught because you got penalized for that. Huh, Rob, did you ever play a uh, Shining Shining uh, Soul Two? Shining Force, uh, as it was originally known as, I played Shining Force 1. I did not beat it. I got close. But Shining Soul, I never touched. Well, there should be two different games, Shining Soul was, like, a different departure, if I remember correctly, from, like... Because, like, Shining Soul uh, back in the day... Or, not Shining Soul. Shining Force back in the day was, like, uh, Fire Emblem was, where it was, like, you had a set amount of units, you would level them up, and it was just that whole tactical whatever but I had a lot of fun with that one. It was it was kind of janky, but you, it took some getting used to, but it was really fun. But Shining Soul, no. Never got the chance to. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to be on Switch from like a Sega Genesis, or from a Game, I'm sorry, Game Boy Advance uh, copy. I can dream. I can dream! Alright, <clears throat> All right, then uh, I guess the last thing we are, I had on my list was the biggest disappointment for a retro game, but um, like, is any any games you bought? You're just like, wow, this sucks. Then it sucks now. <laughs> Duke Nukem Forever. Uh, I don't care that it's not a retro game. Duke Nukem Forever. I it's almost <laughs> retro for how long it, it was in development for like 15 years. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I tend to only really gravitate towards the good stuff, but like, yeah, I, I... was there any that just sucked though? Like, I would say Zelda 2 sucked. <laughs> Zelda, that's yeah, I watched you guys oh, do that. Yeah. That was an exercise in frustration. Yeah, Zelda 2 I was not a fan of. Um, um, I like the, the original. Um, well, the original is the classic timeless yeah, yeah. one, but, like, 2 yeah. is just... It's just this bad. child you just kind of bad, kick into bad. the basement and forget it, that it ever happened. Tell your <laughs> wife to try harder next time and then just oh, pick God. up the pieces and move on. <laughs> Well, I picked Zelda 2. So we don't, we don't advocate for, like, anti-women stuff here. No, we don't do that. I'm just... It's just a hypothetical. What is... Uh, I'm trying to think of, like, the but, worst GameCube game. Ever. I'm trying to think of, like, bad... Yeah, bad retro games. I mean, but... I remember Constantine, like, the video game was unbelievably terrible, but I don't think I, would, I wouldn't consider it retro. Um, I mean, I personally never had fun with Star Fox, but that's, uh, that's just me, I guess. It's... Yeah. Let's see. Here. This is a really hard one. I can't think. I know. I gotta. Uh, oh, I know. Rascal what? on the PS One. Never. Heard as far of as an obscure Rascal. title, Never, it yeah. controlled like. It was just this really obscure, weird one. It controlled like dog water. It played like dog water. It was just. Dog water. <laughs> it sucked. Well, I can't say the other thing I'd like to because I don't want to get you guys demonetized. But appreciate it. You can't demonetize, but it's not monetized. Just, but I understand. It, it it sucked. It was just really bad. Uh, oh, I think it's I'm still bad now. Sonic. It hold up. There you go. Sonic. Sonic as a whole. <laughs> just classic Sonic. Other than Adventure Two, yeah. Are the OG Sonic? Like at the time, I guess I had fun with it, but looking back, like those aren't great games. I. I was surprised Listen, the classics I, are the classics, and I will play those games until I'm blue in the face. <laughs> that's I'd argue time. that I want a new monster. I, I know that's not the question Ocarina that you asked. Ocarina, which go ahead, George. Sorry, 
I want a new Monster Rancher. Like the original one. Oh my the god. They ported them to the, the Switch. The original? Speaking in the vein yeah, of... Yeah, it got uh, yeah, like an did. HD port. It's it's digital only, but it's on there. I, I keep forgetting to buy it, though. I, I don't know why. Yeah, but, but how how would you do it? You just have to put different, like, Switch cartridges in like, to, to summon monsters? You'd... No, I think it's like I, you had, like, know. the original, like, uh, disc codes, because I found, like, lists of disc codes out there. Uh, I think you can still use those. I miss the original one, man. Like, I would just go and grab, like... A, a CD. And just we're talking about those kind of games. Like, I'm really liking the flow of Digimon games we've been getting recently. Like, I'm really Digimon vibing games, with that. Uh, I need so to go good. back and play more of uh, Survive. I, I did not put nearly enough time into that. Um, I need to, to go back honest. and play uh, Next Order. I need to go back and go take yeah. another crack at that. I need to go back and change the future. Because I played through Cyber Sleuth and I played through Hacker's Memory and they were just, it scratched that itch for a JRPG that I needed and it was, it was really fun. I had a lot of fun with both of those games. (laughs) Uh, So, yeah, wait, what what did I say mine was? Um, Zelda 2? I thought Bubsy was also trash. You guys ever oh, play Bubsy? Bubsy is garbage. Anybody who actually yeah. likes that game, they're steaming also dumpster fire. I don't know why it ever keeps getting brought up. It's like one of those things, like the ET on the Atari. You just need to throw it in the landfill and forget it exists. <laughs> oh, Robert. Uh, so yeah, my Zelda two, Derek Wojers. Oh, uh, so- uh, Sonic games, just Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> gotcha, Rob. Bad opinion, but uh, mine was. Um rascal on the ps1 that nobody's heard of but can i add a remaster i'd love to see the bionicle no, game yeah, bionicle. Oh, <laughs> Rob yes, knows. yeah it, oh the my god game, i need more bionicles okay, so... need to come back uh lego come on nintendo okay nintendo. so thing, nintendo. have you been paying attention to that like um that one bionicle game somebody's taking it on themselves to make in like I Unreal know. Engine, really? I, I hope they finish I'm it. So oh I am so excited for that. Like, y- y- give me more. Like Lego, you're listening. I know it. Give me more <laughs> bunkle content. <laughs> no. Give me more bunkles. I need more bunkles. Let me give you my disposable income. Take my money. Make more. <laughs> Take money. Make more. Take money. Make more. Just forget all this Star Wars nonsense. Like, look, man, those boomers have had their time in the sun. Give me buckles. Give me my buckles. All right. What? All right, but what? All right, in order to get it, what if you had to watch a new season of the Bionicle show? Oh, I'd watch you, it. You, you'd have to watch. instantly. instantly. I'd be eating good. <laughs> have my buckles on my Switch in one hand, TV looking at the other. <laughs> I mean, I think it'd be cool if they if, if you could make your own in the game, like like piece by piece, like build it digitally, and then oh, use it. You'd start out as like a Matora, and you'd work your way up to becoming a Toa eventually. Oh, that would be. Oh, so that'd cool. be crazy if I knew what you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> a Toa yeah, because you don't like bunkles because you're not a true <laughs> Bunkle fan. You no, know, because I didn't have the brain power to make one. Unfortunately, I just. Oh, they were so good. God, did your dad like crack your skull open as a kid or something? I was weird. I honestly, them, I honestly. Oh my weird god, dad. it's so You're gross. Not supposed to confirm it. The last time we were together. I, oh I, my everyone, god. Everyone, I, I, everyone, I ask about this say I'm freak, but I honestly have this weird dent, like it's an indent in like the back of my skull. I knew it. I it's knew so it had weird. a brain defect. I knew it. I knew it, it. Like, like it's honestly like probably not healthy. I don't understand it. Like the, it's not like like a little thing. Like literally, it's like 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 the Grand Canyon. It's like across my skull. Like I could put my whole fist in there and uh, probably hide it. No, but I can like put my whole finger in there and like it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it 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 freaks me out. Um, y- yeah, but I'm just gonna let you guys know, but you're you're not getting your Bockle game. It's just not happening. Bockle's dead. It's fine. I still have my no. original copy. I'm just gonna I go still believe. It play it. I still believe. Is Bionicles coming back? There's a rumor they're remaking it because it's like the Lego anniversary, and there's gonna be a remake of one of them. Uh, they haven't like talked about it at all for like the anniversary. Yeah, the red I one. I hope it's the true. red one. Tyler, I, I hope believe. it's they were, true. they were starting. Like I right right. Get out there be. and buy it. 
we I need this to come back. Yeah. I I need to have time to build these again. What? Let's see. God, yeah, I, I, just, like... oh, I miss. Mm, I miss these so much. I had so <laughs> much fun with those. <laughs> Hey, you ready for a date? Uh, no, I want my boggles. Uh, I, there's a war right now. And you never know. The climate's it. changing. She might think that's pretty cool. The climate <laughs> is changing. And then she's like, wow, come to my bedroom. And you're like, no, I'm playing with my boggles. That's not happening. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I, I, I think hey, I don't you want to have sex? Up. Yeah, right after this. Hold on, I'm busy. There's a war. Yeah, right, after, you know right after I finish this, this, this build. Just, just give me a second. You <laughs> just uh, started. And then I'll be though. there until like five in the evening. But I gotta get the rubber band on, and it's, it's, it's a lot of work. I, we're gonna have to reschedule for another night. I got, I got my know, clip the legs. I got on, my Vezin and Fenrak in the other room. All right, they're always ready to go. <laughs> Listen, women are temporary. <laughs> Bionicles are eternal. The Bionicles stay yeah. up during sex. Okay. The Bionicles <laughs> watch us. All right. They watch. guard Listen, us. If you can't do it while the, the Toa are watching you. I don't want. I, I'm that, sorry. You need to leave. The tribe has to watch and approve the the, the what's going on, or else, or else it's just not yeah. sex. Like, how dare you say that in front of Toa Pohatu? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? I can't believe you'd say that in front of him. The future emperor. Uh, um, yeah, but it's not happening. It's not coming back. Your dream's dead. You're probably Dude, it's coming back. Hold on. You have, you on have, like a, a, you have a better five. chance. You have, you have a better chance. I'm sleeping and I just see like a small bionicle. Like, oh my. And I look yeah, around. Light. I'm just surrounded. Yeah. No, we heard what you said. Ah. <laughs> now you're a bionicle forever, and he's my body. Just, like, and just then completely you a collectible mangled. set. Uh, dude, that's like a Goosebumps episode. It's like it's become a pretty a rad Goosebumps episode. I'd watch that. <laughs> Rob, you're yeah. a bionicle now. You're like honestly, not even mad. Like, <laughs> not even, not even upset. I'm not. Like, some people are okay with being turned into marketable plushies. Like, dude, I'm a bionicle. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like, what if you're like, cool. what if you can't move though? Like you're just in the body of a bionicle. Then I guess it is what it is, but just don't put me in the mason jar. The mason? Wow. I, what? I finally. <laughs> no, go ahead. I'm in the mason jar. Oh, I was going to say, I finally uh, remembered because I was, I've, I've been thinking back through of games that I wish I hadn't bought, uh, you know, Considered in that time frame, Duke Nukem Forever, like, sure, I threw that one out there, but technically doesn't fit the timeline of what we were going for. The game that I will say, and this might be my hot take, and Rob, you might disagree, Digimon Rumble Arena. I love the Digimon oh. games, but I could garbage. not stand no, it. was garbage. Arena. I would agree with that. That was just... It, yeah, that it was, ruined. That it would was, be my... So bad. That, to quote one of our earlier regret, tier yeah. list, it was an uh oh stinky moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like I liked the concept, but if you're trying to go up against a game like Smash, but with just Digimon characters, absolute failure. And and like compared to other fighting games, like super simplistic controls and everything. And that's not to say like Tekken can be super in depth, right? Soul Calibur can be super in depth, but they're Calibre simplistic enough in-depth that in-depth anybody actually. can play it. But you guys said but, Digimon but, Rumble no, Arena. Rumble right? Arena was no, Rumble that Arena. Was, that was yeah, no. All I'm seeing is good reviews. Like it looks like a lot of people no, liked it. It. it was a bad game. Those people. No, are, it was a bad. Game. They got. They got to take the nostalgia glasses off. <laughs> the, like yeah. do, do Digimon's like evolve they, or they, digivolve as like the fight progress. Uh, so there's like a mechanic where you have to like touch one other. No, Digimon I think you that picked like, like Agumon, Greymon, War Greymon, Metal Greymon. No, you, it, it's between like Rookie Digimon and then you like you have to like touch one of the like. It's like you can think of it as like a Smash Ball that comes through, okay. and then you instantly go to the, that Digimon's Mega, and then you just start, you know, well, it was giving so them the business. Uh, the worst part is they made three of those things. Uh, actually, I yes. think four. It, was it must so have been hell. Must have been well enough to justify uh, all these. Well, it gets a Digimon. It's going to sell well regardless, right? That's fair. Uh, especially yes in Japan. Yes and no. Yeah. Especially in Japan. It In America, not so much. Like, Digimon is hit or miss. You either like it or you don't. 
Yeah. And a lot I, of the times, like, I, I have to try to explain Digimon to people. And they're like, yeah, I don't get it. It just sounds like Pokemon. I'm like, but it, it's so much you more... You want a real obscure one if we're talking about that kind of stuff? Dragon Quest Monsters. That's a real Dragon obscure Quest one. Monsters. You have to dig yeah. and dig to find somebody. But I'd argue that those games are better than the Pokemon games. You know what? The original... Well, maybe not the original, but the Dragon Quest Monsters for the original Game Boy, I played the ever-loving shit out of that game. I played the um, hell out of one. I played the hell out of two, and I never got to go further because I just couldn't, you know, afford the other ones. But I spent so much time in two that I wore out the cartridge's battery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because really? there was so much to do in that game. Damn. Like I ride or die for it. I love the Dragon Quest. I mean, Dragon Wait. Quest as a whole. I love that series, but so Dragon me, Quest Monsters amazing. has a special place in my heart for being like. What if the uh, yeah? The, Wait, hold on. What what if we were all hanging off from a cliff, but then on the other part of the cliff was this game? It was the last copy, and you couldn't emulate it. What do you pick? Our lives or a video game? Well, the video game, obviously. What is this hypothetical? <laughs> what is, are you okay, man? Are you, are you, do, you, do you like need to? Do you need like positive reaffirmation on our friendship? Or are you okay? Kinda, yeah. Listen, I I also feel that that's you a good question it. because there's multiple people, right? That would just be like, Rob, what are you like hanging on the cliff? Rob, what are you doing? Go grab the game. Yeah, I mean, I don't know in this case why it's. I mean, you wouldn't have really though. been able to tell me that because I would have already snapped up the game and be like, "All right, guys, <laughs> Rob, please, All right, Rob, I gotta go Rob? get my Game Boy. Hold on, I'll be back. <laughs> Hang Rob, on longer. I'll just be, Rob. I'll be sitting there as you guys are holding on by like your pinky fingers, I'm like, man, this is as good as I remember, dude. Are you seeing Rob, this, Rob? Did Rob, you ever play Kid Dracula? Kid Dracula. Kid what? Dracula. On the Game Boy, the the, no. the OG Game Boy. I've. Heard heard of it but i never played it that's another one that i i really enjoyed because that was what basically like that and castlevania 3 are what eventually gave way to alucard right uh essentially kid dracula is like completely different though it's not actually part of like castlevania or anything yeah i was gonna say what i, I never heard of this castlevania game because i feel it's I don't it's know not. why I'm thinking that because I know there was like a I think it was like an NES game like I was like Akumajo like Dracula or something like that where it was like you literally played as like a kid Alucard it was like it was definitely a different departure it wasn't like a Castlevania game in the slightest but <laughs> it's why whoa, that sounds whoa, whoa, familiar whoa, whoa. to me Kid Dracula for Nintendo Game Boy authentic and what is this ad that I'm seeing right now authentic and mint condition for the Game Boy. Five hundred and ninety nine dollars on Etsy. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, this was the on kind of Etsy, this though. was the one I was thinking about. Kid Dracula. Yes, I've heard of this. Yeah, I I love that game, man. Wait, did you and, the, you and the Dragon Quest monsters for Game Boy? Oh, I, so I, I swear to God, I heard Georgia say, "I love that game, man." I, I swear. Did anyone else hear that, or did it just me? I, uh, fine. Hearing, like, oh, it is Great. a spinoff to Castlevania. Are you good, old man? Is it like past your bedtime or something? Am, am I the old man? Yeah. You're like 45, yes. Rob. Shut up. All right, that's not <laughs> true, but okay. All right, that's interesting. I wasn't aware no, that it okay, was so actually so you're making stuff up now too? Yeah, go to bed. You're, 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 I can see you uh, It's over. I'm tired. I, Dude, I can hit a single button and this all goes away. Literally, <laughs> the, literally, <laughs> this thing is. If I hit the big I, I'm red trying button. to go grind in Warframe. It literally, can you, like, it you literally know, put the says on this? You're playing Isaac with us after this. I don't want to hear diddly about Warframe. <sighs> I'm like, it, it says right here, finish. And I press that button like twice a day. And then I and, finish <laughs> yeah, right in my pants. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> like, that's what tells me when I have to. Like, I was like, <sighs> Cinnamon so you're, you're telling us is you're on a hair trigger, man. Yeah. I would, they, I would they, all, be your I'm, yeah, I'm they always ready. I'm yeah, always they call ready. me quick draw for a reason. I don't want to. I don't want to yeah. gloat, but uh. I mean, they, I thought they just called I've you just that. Got a couple kid, of blanks Derek, in the middle okay. time. That's right. No, they called me. Well, didn't I don't know, think people called me the kid who was wearing a disturbed hoodie in high school. That was like that or tea bag, but usually just the one who wore disturbed hoodies. Yeah. I, dude, I, girls meant nothing to me in high school. I just, I, I had zero. 
zero care for any girl in high school. Anyway, it's completely off topic. Uh, <laughs> video cool. games. Video games, right. Look um, at us now. Who needs girls? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, that's Dracula it. is a parody of the Castlevania <laughs> I mean, games. Jordan's still looking at him. <laughs> he is lost in the sound. Yo, like, I played the hell out of Kid Dracula, and then I realized that it was a remake of, like, a game from 1990. Uh, yeah, which was, was a parody a, of Castlevania. It was like a, a Famicom exclusive, if I recall correctly. Yeah, yeah. Yep. George, how much did that bust of a uh, of um the guy from Mortal Kombat cost? Uh, or it was like a collector's I mean, edition it was, with it was a collector's edition. So how much did they, how much did it cost? What was it? Two fifty, three hundred, something. Like and that? how much would you pay if it was ransom? Like held for hostage, and you know. It was yours. That? Like, yeah. Like they're like, we, we took this from you. And it's like, you know, like a hostage video where like, you know, there's like hoods out everyone. It's like in a torture chair. It's like, give us, give us $700 or else no. this thing goes in a all right, $500. So this thing goes into no. um, $280 in. or else this goes no. in. You just can't even think of where it's going to go. It's a trash compactor. $100. No, fifty dollars with a happy meal. I mean, I I would I would rebuy it for fifty bucks. Uh, there's uh, the old bookends. Uh, so the collector's edition, I believe, of MK9 had uh bookends of Scorpion shoot like throwing his spear, and then you have like all your books or your games or whatever, and then on the other side is Sub Zero getting impaled by the spear. Oh yeah, I've been I looking that. into buying that, but but people are are charging way too much for it. Like I won't pay more than fifty bucks for that. But everywhere I see it, it's like a hundred or like more, and I'm like, nah. What if much. I tried to sell you my Sephiroth amiibo? A hundred dollars. No. Okay. I've got what both. I see you too are a purveyor of grape skittles. What? What grape skittles? <laughs> Oh, you didn't see that one thing on YouTube. It was a funny little haha thing. What about my Where my? It was, it was like Sephiroth side B was just him throwing grape skittles. Is what it looked like. <laughs> my Legend of Zelda uh, uh, sword and shield glassware with chocolate milk in the inside. <laughs> Used. Ooh, you. Bro, you're... Are, you gonna, are you are you gonna share? I'll share my chalky milk. Heck yeah. Like yeah, I'll, I'll share chalky milk with the boys. I'd rather that than alcohol. I don't drink, so uh, I'm only share my my chalky milk. Yeah, because I'm a good friend. Uh, but good. besides, uh, besides that. Uh, other than that, um, I think that kind of wraps it up. We talked about everything we want to. We'll talk about retro. Uh, unless you guys have yeah. any last comments before we play some video. I I have more games that I would love to see remakes, remasters, and stuff. But we we can save that for another time because I'm sure I'm the only one that'll get it. <laughs> Rob, any last words before uh, we never see each other again? Uh, support emulation. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Support emulation. That's right. Uh, remember, we're Green Games and Gear. Uh, 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 this is the the panel, the the council. Uh, this particular kind of episode every two weeks, give or take, depending on we solidify that. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, wherever you watch us. YouTube, subscribe to us. TikTok, subscribe to us so the Chinese overlord can like us. Uh, 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 let's see here. Join our Discord because we can talk on there. Um, uh, tweet <laughs> at us, you know, what your favorite movie is. I don't know. Mine's Mario, the new Mario movie. Uh, 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 tell Derek he matters. This is all important stuff. Have a good it one, really guys. Is. We'll, I see need you, it. we'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. 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 B